Don't, don't receive in our newspaper. Because he works outside, so I'm like, this would be it. Same. Yeah, I'm yeah, you're working. Yeah, I'm outside. Too, was it like, good for you today? Yeah, I was. What on was it a day? Windbreaker. No long sleeve. Oh, long sleeve jeans. Oh, the, the old safety vest, the old bucket, and the old. This guy safety. abuses the safety vest, <laughs> eh? No, you do no. too. He does. Wait, Chase, you didn't work today? No, no. Wait, you didn't His even first... ask me to hang out. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even ask. ask. I didn't ask anyone. To didn't hang even out. ask. I wanted to cancel this podcast. Why? <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do anything today. <laughs> Well, you know, you got to take some time away from your video games every once in a while. I watched only Game of Thrones. <laughs> How was that? That's a satellite. Bro, I just finished it. Yeah. Are we up, it by is. the way? It no? was awesome. Oh, we are up? Okay. Yeah, no. Game of Thrones has been up. Like, it's... it's. The, I like it. He's saying... He only watched it because we're going to have RJ on, and RJ fucking loves Game of Thrones. Which I'm one? on season five. Which one? What, RJ? Trom- eight. Uh, eight. Yeah, Trombley. Trombley, okay. All right. yeah, I was gonna say, if it's Brophy, that guy's full of shit. Yeah. All right, but yeah. he has not drop. watched it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. he has the attention span. I yeah. know he didn't watch it, but yeah, uh, I'm on season five right now, about halfway through season. Oh, five. it's about to go way downhill. Then I haven't enjoyed it yet. I was yeah. waiting for it to pick up. Yeah, so why, why are you still watching it? Because Jake wanted. Hey, I wanted to watch it want, so we could talk about in it in the last <laughs> season. If you, I don't think you, it's bad. In the last season, if you ever saw any of those fight scenes, like big, big fight scenes, like battles in Game of Thrones. There is a episode in the last season where if you ever saw that and you're like, but I want it so dark, I can't see anything happening. <laughs> they have that yeah. in that season because they're like, no, I, we I've been realistic. waiting. Yeah, I've been waiting for something yeah. like that. The greatest battle on television everyone was waiting for for over a decade. They're just like, what if what if you just don't see it? What if it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only show that forces you to use theater of the mind. It's crazy. It's it's insane. <laughs> it's like. You got to imagine that because they were yeah. like, they didn't want to disappoint anyone. So it's open to interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Adam? I mean, oh. like, do you see who wins in the end? Like you see who becomes the new king. Yeah. Okay. So, I know what happens. So I could. Don't spoil, you watch it, right? Spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. It's don't me. <laughs> it's, Aaron. It is Aaron. it's Aaron. It's me at the end of it. Photoshopped yeah. in. And all <laughs> women's only bands are free for me. <laughs> 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 Rule number one in this kingdom. <laughs> Free and just for it. verification purposes, all women over the age of 18 should send me a nude picture so <laughs> yeah. I know what no. they look like. <laughs> Not me. I'm okay. I said over the age, Aaron. You're all right. You're, you're clear. No. <laughs> Still sus. Still sus. He's, At least. He's what? Yeah. Still sus. <laughs> What? <laughs> that's what you do as king, Matt. No, that's what yeah. Aaron would do as king. Uh, Everyone would... knows Aaron's doing something like that, but no, you had to plan out. What would I do? What would I do? You know, I would in, I would in, uh, I would just start a uh, proper democracy and let the people speak for themselves. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever you call me, fuck. You could do that. <laughs> you could do that, or you could have my idea. What's or your idea? You Only start. Sense. An Arby's chain oh there, okay? No. And you bring back the four for six. <laughs> <laughs> you bring back the four for six deal. L- listen, right? you know, you could do that. You're right. Like, you know, with the Arby's thing, but yeah. then this is what you bring back. You bring back the $5 build your box at Taco Bell. That's oh, what you bring. No, you no, bring no. It's in. four for six for the nobility, but for the peasants, it's two for one. <laughs> 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 the two for five chicken sandwiches. If you're not high born, you get shit. No, nah. <laughs> no, no, no. Arby's. If you if you're a peasant, you go to Arby's. You just get a dirt sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get the bun toasted. That's it. Toasted. <laughs> toasted. You're wasting all that power on toasting their bread. We'll give them something. We'll give them something. You know, I was thinking about that deal. I, I eat like uh, toast and like English muffins every night, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, every night. Every night. Like for like my before I go to bed, I have that and like a protein bar, right? So. I was just so thankful for whoever made the toaster. <laughs> like, like I was thinking about that stuff, like to myself last night, and I was like, "Man, whoever invented the toaster, good for him." Or just start toasting bread. Like, imagine the first motherfucker to be yeah. like, "Listen, bro, like you're, you're if you fucking kind of burn this shit, it kind of goes hard. It has a cr- <laughs> it has a crunch." And then I someone, and then someone put cheese in between two of them. Yeah. And they just got the best God. sandwich. Ever. How do you think garlic bread ended up being but invented? Wait, here's my question. What what, what what word came first? Like a toast is in like toasting a speech or toast is in like toasted bread? Ooh. To- to- I'm gonna toast go- isn't giving a speech. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, but like they had oh, toasted yeah, bread back in the day. You could just yeah, put bread like- on a pan and it's toasted. So they would still have the word toast. This is like that question, are there more like car tires or fucking doors, in, doors the in the world? In New York, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. I don't know. 
Or, or, yeah. I we feel like, know. why would they, why would they name it Toast mm-hmm. when you're giving a speech mm-hmm. at like a, a ceremony and be like, you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> when you, know you put bread on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> can we, wait, can we actually look that up? Because I, I honestly, the only thing I can think of is that they, they would use toast and then dip it in the wine. What are we looking for? for that? Look up when mm. toast was invented. When like, was toast invented? Why do they when? call it like? Why do they call <laughs> it some real deep dive into that? <laughs> We're getting to the deep, dark part of the internet. Why do they call it like toasting to someone? There it is. Yeah. When was toast invented? <laughs> there is no way. Get the fuck out of here. Detroit. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> we right across, baby. There is no way it was 1906. <laughs> Had to be like 1700 when or something. Was... No, that's like when was the first toaster oven invented? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Hey. Detroit, baby, we hey. did that. <laughs> Carhartt and toasters, baby. God bless. Carhartt Smug and toasters. expression began at when is used among university students in a way to... Oh, huh. So a toast like a toast speech, speech. Was been, has been around for longer. Huh. All right. 18th century. To answer Matt's boring, boring question. <laughs> wow, well, listen, you, you only looked up when the toaster was invented, not when like... Yeah, that's right. Like when did we figure out toasting, I want to know who invented it. I think it's going to be hard to like determine exactly when in human history. Can I use a phone a friend on this? Call a historian. When was the first person on earth die? I want to see that. Ancient Greeks. In the 6th century BC. Wow. Okay, now we need to know if Before ancient Christ. Greeks did toasts. <laughs> of course they well, did. They probably definitely did. Oh, they totally did. Yeah. Hmm. 100%. You got to think, like, they uh, they were paying people to sit around all day and debate things. By the way, that's what I do. <laughs> at, if you guys are ever like, wow, why does Matt wake up at 2 p.m.? It's because at 2 a.m. I'm looking up that. <laughs> yeah, I was going through a rabbit hole. When toast made. <laughs> toast? Toast? <laughs> My Google searches are, like, the worst. Where they're, like, <laughs> where it's, like, uh... Best toast 2024. 20, <laughs> yeah. Like, what? He's trying to find a recipe. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to find a recipe. Easy, easy get, way to get, make bread. <laughs> easy way to make toast 2025. Give me cornbread, <laughs> recipe. cornbread recipe. No flour or sugar. Or <laughs> It's like people that want to make like bread that they're like, I, I want to skip the rising part though. How do I, can I make bread without rising or whatever, without what I need? Yeah. It's, it's like just looking up, can I make bread without yeah. putting it in the oven? It's kind of <laughs> like, like not you can try. It's kind of <laughs> like bread and fucking like potatoes. Yeah. Top. They're top dog. You can make bread yeah. without putting it in the oven? Rising it? Yeah. What do you, rising's the yeast. Rising yeah, is. Yeah, but like baking it. You yeah. How did they make bread before conventional ovens? Probably just well, like I'm, just, I'm just saying, like most people don't have fucking same way they cook like, both uh, things. Oven before pizza makers ovens. in their house, right? You got like the you have your fucking oven. That's really no. Good. You had a fireplace and a pot, and you put the ingredients in there, really? put the yeast in there, let it. Rest. I'm assuming they didn't. Have I would ovens. imagine that's what you would do. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have Samsung fucking like smart <laughs> yeah. ovens. I don't know. Sucks for them. Yeah, they know it, 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 it sucked. It sucks for that, bro. That's why we got away from that. <laughs> if you were born like before 1970, most of your life was shit. Like most, of it, you know what I mean? like nothing was good. You mean you had... the drugs? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean no, it the acid and LSD back then. No, 100%. 100%. it's made in fucking like insane labs now. They have way stronger shit now. No, nah, it was more pure back then. They're probably tripping on shrooms. Sure, like, yeah, if no, I LSD, put this 100%, shit, percent, bro. 60s, 60s, 70s. Oh yeah, they had all the same shit we had. They yeah. were they were doing but coke like it was nothing. Like I think, like I, think yeah. I think their weed was way worse back then. Yeah, like, it was oh, yeah. terrible. Yeah, because like, they didn't shit. know enough about it, right? Like a lot yeah. of those studies didn't start until like the 70s or 80s about weed, and the 60s <laughs> and 50s they didn't have that information probably. <laughs> yeah, do they make edibles now where they're like, do you want to ruin your weekend? Seven thousand says it on the pack. Yeah, would you love to just call your weekend a write off? There you go. <laughs> I like I'd be handing people, especially like some of the edibles I got, and I give like I remember early on when we were at uh, I think it was Villains, and I gave him yeah. one, and he goes, "God damn, bro! Like this one's hitting me." And then he goes, "How many did you take?" I'm like, "I took four. He goes, "You took four? You took four of these?" And I was like, "Yeah, I took." I four. was worried about. It. I didn't even know him well back then. Because you're an addict, them. Jake. Because you're an addict. Bro. Oh man, those ones I was getting. <laughs> he could quit <laughs> anytime he wants. Hey, let him. He could quit <laughs> anytime he wants. Are you, I can't. Are I have you his AA sponsor? I, <laughs> I literally I got have, you, man. <laughs> I have no self control. Uh, <laughs> I just keep going. No, <laughs> no, those, but it's like, cause it's weird. If I ordered them from like BC or whatever, they're way stronger than if yeah. you'd get them at 
the like I get why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Cause once like a weed store was open to everybody, you can't just fucking give someone be like, all right, here's 500. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Go have, nuts. Have a fun time, buddy. <laughs> well and, now, like, like now weed stores, you can get like more strong shit because, but they put in like pill form or whatever. So you yeah. can't, it's not like edibles. You, but you take still it like, like the best you're going to get is online because like they have, they have capacities of what they can give out to the stores right yeah not not for, like for literally not that reasons we've done this. of people it's, fucking almost it's overdose. in the don't. boldest letters they're like don't. THE black yeah. <laughs> like yeah. look at the fucking thing <laughs> like look how bright it is it's 500 milligrams and on the bottom it says ready to get you just have it says <laughs> cannabis infused gummies high dosage death variety <laughs> pack. look how nice that is. you want one yeah yeah here take one rain do you have i don't work any day um <laughs> what kind of phone do you have iphone Old one or new one? New one. Uh, <laughs> USB C. No, no. Podcast, yeah, actually, it's an old one then. Yeah, that was a thirteen. Yeah, no, I don't Cheers. have that one for that. Sorry, oh, no. sweet sour keys. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just sour keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you have all that though. The sourest key or, like, you ever <laughs> Bro, think about if you go to like um, the reserves. Yep. You can get shroom bars. Yeah, cigarettes cheap wild, too. wild experience, but I'm already on shrooms, going to a gas station in the reserve, and being like, I could have just ate a chocolate bar for this. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheaper you have to sneak him in a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I always just ate them straight. I look like Joey oh. Chestnut with that shit, just chugging water, eating peanut oh. butter sandwiches. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly <laughs> allegedly that's what i was doing yeah. Ale- no i never did that but like allegedly <laughs> never been to a reserve yet no. i want to go yeah there. i want to go I people go. love getting cigarettes from there I yeah you can get bags of cigarettes for, like, carton for like that, 20 bucks that's what i'm saying my bro. grandma used to do that like, she used to get like the she used to have like cartons on cartons like under yeah. her under like a small table she used to get from a guy <laughs> downtown he gets you to like go meet him hang out smoke for a bit talk shoot the shit get her like fucking five cartons and go back to her apartment <laughs> my she intru- my neighbor introduced it to her because they got along because they both like fucking smoked and like they were both like uh from like northern ontario and stuff born like born and raised and he's like oh i got a great supplier he gives me five <laughs> cheap cigarettes and she was mad because the guy got shut shut down uh, like a uh, year before god and, uh, they just fucking ruined that he for was just people, only eh? doing god work he's just doing god's work bro god forbid if someone Someone has fun. I know. Like God, fun first you. you're not allowed to buy single cigarettes out of a plastic bag <laughs> behind the counter. <laughs> then they're shutting down the cheap carton supply. It's, this is bullshit. I thought. <laughs> I, I thought. I thought we had freedom. <laughs> Although we I lived thought, in the we have none. This we this, none. this vibe right now is giving me that like when they outlawed drinking and driving. <laughs> but God forbid, what do we live in communist China now? <laughs> okay. You have a beer after yeah. work. God for, a man beer? works forty hours a week. <laughs> Gets in his car after a 12-hour shift and just wants to crack open a cold one on the way home. And you're saying that's that's against the law yeah. now. <laughs> I knew a guy who worked in the States, and he's like, uh, and he's like, yeah, he's like, everyone back there, he's like, you just, uh, you go, you, uh, you uh, grab a beer on your way home, and you just drink it on the road. And he goes, I start doing is great. Having a beer on the road, he's like, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> like, <"That's not> <laughs> he goes, yeah, you just finish it before you get to the before you get to the bridge, and you're good. He's like, it's great. I love it. I'm like, God. I'm like, he's like, they're thinking right over. It. I'm like, nah, I don't, know, I don't know if they're thinking totally right. They might have something. They might. Have, <laughs> they might. They yeah. might be onto something. Look, there. you can come up with the perfect bank robbing plan. That doesn't mean you should rob a bank, but like. <laughs> I think those are two very different things. <laughs> One cold roadie on the way home from the work, and robbery. robbing a bank. Two very different <laughs> things. Yeah, Sounds you know, having funny. a cold one's for you. Yeah. <laughs> You're not hurting anybody as long as you only have one in the car. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you ever see that video of like? It was like a seventies, eighties thing when that like really first came out. Yeah, a little late, fellas. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like. And it was just like, uh, and it was literally what you said. Like it's Mississippi, guy, yeah. It's yeah, yeah it's in Mississippi. It's like, like the girl, ha- she has a truck. She has a child and it's, in the seat. It's there's, it's <laughs> only like a one seater. Like you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's the one with the benches. It's not even yeah, yeah. mine. It's the one with the fucking benches where you just threw a, threw kids in there, and that's what she did. She goes, I can't believe we're in communist. I feel like I'm in communist China now. <laughs> I can't believe that they're not gonna let us drink and draft. <laughs> she's got six kids in the car. And she's yeah. like, just starts God, crying. God forbid it's, I have. God forbid I bring my kids to school, and now I can't have a beer when I pick them up. <laughs> God forbid. What kind of countries? I love how they're like, <laughs> you can't drink and drive, so you're gonna make it so we can't buy the the beer at the place we fill our cars up at. No, no, no. You can still get beer at yeah. corner stores, <laughs> yeah. but we're just saying, like, yeah. just I'm stop. 
Have they, they brought it back yet? Is 7-Eleven selling beer yet? Can well, we Walmart search is. Yeah, Walmart, Walmart but like, can we search gas up station beers? Are gonna sell in- <laughs> Walmart, they, they speaking are, of I just condoms. don't know when. I'll search up yeah. when. Yeah, search up, yeah. Uh, we've been we talking, about talking about that for like a year now. We're trying to be so. the states. I don't think they do. No, I know uh, I, th- I know. Shop, like Superstore does. Yeah. Like, but they it, actually have a decent But is it actual whiskey or is it just beer? I don't know if it's beer. I know I've seen beer. I don't know if I've seen I think it's just beers at stores. like. But that's so weird, isn't it? Like why hard hard liquors? Like you can get wine and shit at the superstore now. Yeah. But like hard liquors is only at the LCBO. That's so yeah. weird. Why? 7-Eleven already does. Yeah. Okay. So they they what? did start. In Canada? I'm old enough. Yeah. I don't in like Leamington, that. Leamington, Ontario. Licensed beer and wine sales. So it's just beer and wine. It's just yeah. we're just late. Oh, Leamington. Erie Street. Holy Niagara. fuck yeah. Okay. Wow, okay. Not that many places. Yeah. So I is see it? more. I see more of gas stations plus the LCBO huh. on the side. That's what I see more of. So th- the well, I've seen like I've seen like the LCBOs connected to the gas stations. But yeah, but that's like if you're in a small town, like McGregor yeah. has that. Yeah, and I've seen like other few places where I've I want to. Right? Well, not that I drink anymore, but I want people in this country <laughs> <laughs> to be able to go into a Seven Eleven, grab a quick sixer, yeah, fill up their truck. And go for a drive. Listen, Chase is going to kick the ass of that Trudeau guy. <laughs> <that's in there. laughs> I believe in our rights. <laughs> Roll tight. <laughs> but yeah, it is. But is this weird that they're just like, because like when I, I remember going to the States as a kid and going into like uh, Myers or whatever, and yeah. you just fucking, they're like, you could just buy this fucking two six or taquito, uh, yeah. Tito's yeah. and just take this with you. Yeah. And it's like, bro, but cause even when my dad, I was talking about this not too long ago when I was, uh, we'd go to the States and we stop at the duty free. I'm like young. I'm like yeah. fucking 13, 14 year old. Yeah. My dad's telling me, grab that, <laughs> grab that, like grab everything. Like he's grabbing everything he can. I actually, we have, we know this. I'm not going to call him out on here, but we know a guy who went in to the duty free thinking they could just come out. Like drove through cust <laughs> like drove to pay the till to go to the states. They went to the duty free and they're like, "How do we get out of here?" And they're like, "What? Like, how do we get out of here?" No, like, no, you gotta go to the other side. You gotta go to the state. Oh, we don't have our passports. Like, holy fuck! <laughs> the guy ended up running back through. I don't know how, but yeah, yeah, that's I got wild. It. That's like yeah, that's, that's like a a lucky. Man. I got through that- in like 2019 without a passport. Like, Did that you? was bad. That was well. What I, happened? We were in the line, like already there, like at the gate in the line, like where you see the guy at the booth. And then I realized I didn't have my passport. And I was freaking out. My dad's like, "You'll just hand me your, just hand me your uh, driver's license." Yeah, or no, I didn't even hand him his driver's license. He's just like, "Okay, like whatever. We'll just tell. Like we'll go. We'll have to do a Yui or whatever, right?" So like, uh, we go up to the booth, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, we're so sorry. I don't don't mean to waste your time, but like, we'll. Uh, he forgot his passport. We if we could just like turn around, we'll." you know get out of your hair and all and the guy's like got any other id and then i'm like okay so like i hand him my driver's license he looks and he just doesn't like yeah. he's like okay go ahead and then, like <laughs> once you're in there. the states because in canada like canada like can't let you what like they can't refuse you entry for yeah. like almost any reason right so like they can as long as i have something saying i'm a canadian then you're fine so like so you were fine you ended up being all right yeah it was yeah. all right but yeah it was yeah. better than getting my car searched the last yeah time. It was oh, fun. Damn. yeah it was great dude when you told me yeah. that and you had phones in the back of your car yeah, yeah, i laughed so fun. fucking don't tell you the story tell oh, them the story okay bro. so i got um <laughs> what do you call so it? Funny. <laughs> um they thought he was like from they the were the like what the fuck is it this guy who is this king no the worst part guys doing burner phones the worst part is is like i i had like the chillest guy too and i just <laughs> fucked it so like he's like hey uh do you have like uh like i pull up and he's like he, first thing he just nods he goes hey man and i'm like oh hey what's up and then he asked me all the questions and he goes do you have any like chewing tobacco cigarettes vapes anything like that and Got i'm like DMT, and i'm like DMT pen. And i'm like man i'm like <laughs> all pen. i have i'm like i just gotta i just gotta i just gotta like a nick vape for someone like on the other side and he goes oh okay no no worries he goes that's it and i'm like yeah that's it and I must have like hesitated or something for him. And he goes, uh, and he goes, okay, pop open the trunk. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I pop open the trunk, but I didn't know. I like at this time, and I still do a little bit. But I was, I was tearing apart phones, so like, and like seeing if I could get them to work again. So How many I, did you I have? paid, I a, paid a eighty bucks for like twenty phones. <laughs> in box, and I didn't ask the guy if they were blacklisted or not, and I didn't check. So they're just there, and then he opens the trunk, closes it, opens my back door, like kind of like opens my suitcase, and going through that, and then he um, 
And then he comes to the front door, and as soon as he opens the front passenger door, he's like, what's with the phones? And I said, yeah. and I had the, I had, like, the repair kit and shit with me. So mm -hmm. I told him, I'm like, I showed him, like, here's the repair kit. It's just, I use it for, like, yeah, it's just like a hobby. I'm a fucking nerd. Like, I, I'm wearing glasses, sweatpants, and a fucking, like, Jimi Hendrix t-shirt. Like, I'm, I'm a fucking, <laughs> like, I'm, an, I'm, like, I'm a nerd. Like, what do you want? Officer, and don't then, worry. Yeah. I'm a loser. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do anything cool, like, smuggled. <laughs> <laughs> But he's like, I just yeah. like to fuck around with little phones. And shit. Yeah, and then he uh, <laughs> and then he asked to see the the vape I said I had, and then I just gave it to him, and he goes, "That's it." And I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes, "Oh, okay." And then he's like, no. <laughs> yeah. But I was just like shitting myself when he asked about the phones. I'm like, "Fuck, fuck, I forgot about those." But it does look weird though. Yeah. You open it, like, why is this dude got phones? Well, like, I told him too. He's like, "What are those?" And I'm like, "Oh, I made sure they weren't blacklisted." And then I'm like, I <laughs> "He's like, <laughs> I think I know a criminal when I see one." Uh, <laughs> all right, buddy. Yeah. We're good to go. Secondary. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, you, buddy, you don't have to cry. It's fine. It's just phones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal to have twenty phones. It's just a little odd. It's odd. It's a red flag. It's not a. <laughs> <laughs> You are fine. <laughs> You're good to cry. No, he's nice. Yeah, it was fine. But yeah, it was. It was a, yeah, I was scared a little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but you just didn't get caught. That's all. Nah, I didn't get caught. Spent the night in Pittsburgh. Got fucking lost. And then, you oh, know, there's that. Cool. Yeah. Nice city though. Fun. Yeah, not at like 3 a.m. But <laughs> not at 3 a.m. <laughs> not at 3 a.m. Well, uh, well, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah. And you went to a basketball game too there. No, nah, I went to a I saw the Phillies. Oh, baseball. Yeah, Phillies fuck baseball. The Giants. Yeah, that was good. Nice. Cool. Yeah, it's sports. A good game. Chase, I know you love sports. Very Saw Bryce that. Harper smack a home run. Nice. nice. I was with a guy there. He's the uh, most like Philly guy oh. ever. He's a nice guy. His name's More Tom cheese. Paul. Dude, <laughs> no, he's like heckling the players. He's oh, like, I, I bet you wear Fruit of the Loom instead of Joe Boxer, <laughs> you bum. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, he's yelling at the outfielders and shit. And they're like, damn. And like, how do you know? <laughs> second highest paid sports yeah. <laughs> and marsh would like come out to the outfield there yep. like left field and they would be like uh and everyone would go nuts every inning yep. and then like he would he would yell Pro uh marsh you're a beauty <laughs> <laughs> and they're like yeah everyone around them's laughing too because they're like going up they're not like in people's ears they're kind of yeah. and they're not doing it like a ton so like everyone was loving it and it was it was great was there's a lot of people getting smacked with baseballs right now too i don't know if anyone's seen yeah. that that one girl that had a fucking oh, well, and she got the, the had a game. baseball in her head yeah yeah, yeah the jays and she yeah. had the card she got the card yeah she though, got yeah. the uh, limited edition tops like 100 yeah. 100 made or something really 100 yeah they gave that to her as a gift or something no shit? they like put it like i don't know what they did with them i don't know if they're releasing them like separately in like different packs and yeah, stuff yeah. but like they made like a hundred copies of that card i'm pretty sure and like how expensive is that card i have no idea i didn't really look into that usually like i'm pretty on top of those things but yeah i was gonna I, say that's usually your like yeah, thing like, bro like to be honest like it could be worth a lot of money but like at the same time it's like she's not a player nor is a hall of famer nor is it probably signed so it's no it's just like a the funny david, funky card it's right? like that david Ayers card they released i don't even know about this you know the, you know the toronto goalie the zamboni driver from a few years ago who went in for the net for toronto oh because he was like a fill yeah in or some yeah shit? he yeah. had a he had a card that came out but and it's cool but like those cards aren't worth anything it's yeah. like a uh, baseball had the thing it's either baseball or mls had a card with like a raccoon on it because a raccoon went onto the field one game and it was like and that must be pretty cool though no they're cool they cards they're cool like stuff. things and they're probably worth like a few bucks but they're not yeah. gonna be worth like thousands because it is it mean. would be like the one time that raccoon went on that field <laughs> yeah like, and you got the card of it like this <laughs> what a boring sport where they're like a raccoon was on the field <laughs> to quote my daddy <laughs> let's put let's put that fucker on some cards <laughs> <laughs> to quote my dad he can't respect a sport that you play two games in one day of because baseball. baseball is like, uh, yeah. just like a 182 <laughs> games. I don't see any. That other. is insane. That's 182 nuts. games. That's like a yeah. fuck. I will say plus, baseball plus is postseason. Baseball is like the most full time job out of yeah. any of like the major leagues. It's like genuinely like. Because like, how the long does it go day. for, bro? It goes for like April to September, right? No longer than that. We go. You go till uh, you go till like October, almost to November oh. for like the entire World Series. Oh yeah, that's and regular then, season. September, and then right? since it's cold out by the time. You go. You probably have like maybe like a month or two off, and then you just go to spring training. Damn! Like you just go and go. You can go whenever you want. Yeah, you right? have like December to like maybe early February, right? Yeah, and then you're and in then, training. Like yeah. you're probably like getting like you're at the clubhouse like working out and shit. Yeah, you're means, always yeah. like if you're around the area, you can just go and stop in whenever, and then spring training comes. Well, it's like football too. The Lions players pull, pull were the there like a month hey, ago. Pull the thing a little closer. Oh. Yeah, it's like the Lions players too. Like they were there like a month ago getting like fucking yeah, starting it they don't start like, like six though. months i feel like no, they started like, after the draft though but did you it's only see three months away isn't it yeah but yeah. did you also see 
because I never knew this. When rookies get like when they come on, did you see the fucking rookie like binder Book, that they yeah. have? Have no. you seen that? For the NFL, please, please try. And, it was there was a TikTok. A Dan guy Orlovsky. made a TikTok. Dan Orlovsky did it. Okay, that's who it was. Yeah. Literally. Okay. Like what binder. Are, what for, do you mean? It's a, dude, wa- watch like what they have to learn. Like uh, it was. Think a of TikTok. it like the code book. Cause What's I the did guy's the name again? One. You know those fucking thick code. It's like that, but you have to memorize everything. And the first like hundred pages is just a glossary of terms that mean different things, like okay. code words that you have to memorize. And it's like insane. Like, I'm trying to. What was the guy's name again? Dan Orlovsky. Dan Orlovsky. This is just tops cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I just want like. Yeah. He wait. shows you. Is it yeah. that one? Um. That th- that says TikTok three minutes, right? That's it. What's yeah. in an NFL playbook for rookies? Yeah. All right, if you ever watched Dan's video, <clears throat> I suggest you, go back. you do it. I with the whole... Oh, yeah, that. Watch, watch that when they he opens this fucking book, bro. Look how thick it is. I love what Dan They have to know this before the season starts. I That's what fucking nuts. Nice. He was really focusing on the macro. So, look at I mean, all these tabs, everything like that, and it talks about, you know, the cadence and at the line of scrimmage, getting up in the huddle, and um, that was something I had to really learn when I first got in, but I want to focus on the micro. Dan mentioned, obviously, how these rookie quarterbacks are, are um, you know, going to struggle maybe a little bit with everything that they're doing, and I just want to show you a little bit of the install for just third down. They're going to hit three separate times, exactly like Dan said, rookie minicamp, uh, training camp, regular season, Sean Payton was one of the best guys and coaches I've ever had really install. And so I just want to take a quick peek right here. Okay, we don't because have to this is this. just the run game. No, but like okay, I know so- I know in in that book, like it gets to like in the huddle, it's like this is where you stand in the huddle. Yeah. You just don't yeah. stand anywhere. Like yeah. it's crazy. It's, it's like fun. you gotta fucking yeah. follow everything. And it's like this is just all they gotta know before yeah. like they even go on and train and you're like, Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Now But I mean they get crazy. paid for it. Mind like, you though, like also, like, yeah, that's a lot, especially for, like, quarterbacks and receivers and eight, probably running backs, too, and stuff like that. But if you're a line on those plays, like, on all those hundreds of plays probably they have, it's, like, you are you could only possibly be doing, like, four or five things, too. Yeah. So, it's, like, you just kind of group things. Like, it's easier for that. But, like, yeah, again, if you're a receiver or a quarterback, like, good fucking luck. I couldn't do that. You want me to memorize that while I'm smoking dabs? Like, are, you me? are you fucking kidding me? Coach! Coach! Coach, <laughs> Coach I am gone. Coach, Coach, I did a gram of shatter before I showed up this morning. And it turned out it was sap. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that happened one time. <laughs> that Wait, lives in I, my head. I didn't smoke the whole gram also. That was yeah, not through most of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing that. I was like, what is that? I was like, what is that? And it was sap. It was true. I sap. remember. I'm not even kidding. I remember when our boy Cam got this weed that was three, K2? three dollars a gram, <laughs> and there was. Listen, I want to say there was a little bit. Like I mean, a little bit left in the bowl. Like I mean, like a pinch, maybe less than a fucking pinch. And I put my weed on top of that and smoked it. I was so ill afterwards <laughs> i did not feel fucking good bro. and i was like i'll buy another ounce dude <laughs> i, I remember, remember this that. guy on the couch the 20 dollars <laughs> this guy was on the couch like fucking like this and he's like yeah i'll take another one <laughs> and i'm like he's like i'll take another one line it up, line I'm, it up. Line it up. <laughs> I'm rolling the blunts for you guys i'm like are you getting your smokes merit no nah, i ain't smoking spice today bro i ain't smoking <laughs> too bro like, got a whole ounce gotta kill that dude i didn't feel right i didn't smoke the. i remember that day yeah, i didn't I smoke the rest because i was like this i I didn't mean to. I had my own <laughs> weed. I didn't I mean to smoke like, it. I killed <laughs> two ounces of that. When, they, when he was like, it's $3 a gram, I was like, they didn't sell you weed. Whatever that $20 is. $20 an ounce. <laughs> oh no better God. asking price. I was like, <laughs> how could I say no to that? Yeah, you know what, Chase? You I can, heard, though. I heard rat poison has a really bad effect on That's the human probably body. Though. Dude, that thing had fucking radiation on it. <laughs> Fuck rat poison. Glowing. Killed two <laughs> ounces. I'm still here. I you actually know, made Just two glowing rocks from Hiroshima. Grind <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it up. Put it in the bowl. <laughs> I thought when, you were pissing blood. Remember when he, <laughs> that was years later. <laughs> remember when Caught he made those like disgusting brownies? Too? Oh, my God, dude. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> like, bro, you can't feed those to people, <laughs> man. <laughs> this guy, bro, he was like, I'm going to make edibles for people. And we're like, all right, man. That's cool. We're adding our cigarettes and joints in yeah, the batter and then, and then he started yeah and then he started like <laughs> dumping like ashes in like a bunch of like ash trays and, hack like, and loogies like, in it yeah and he was like yeah we're gonna sell these to i'm like bro you can't <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you i'm like you should rethink that <laughs> like yeah. you can't 
give that to somebody. Definitely not. just nails in there. Yeah, it, it smelled <laughs> like nails. Like it was, bro. It smelled so bad. full, full filter some cigarettes. Oh, just yeah, like, God. Like, <laughs> at, like just ashes. People Did the house fucking sink. Lube. The garage didn't smell well for a while. <laughs> You cooked it in like the little fucking easy bake oven, bro, in the fucking garage, bro. And we're like, what are we doing? <laughs> it was Thursday. Like, it, was, it was just a regular Thursday. Dude, That's when the crew got up to some shit, the crew got up to some shit. Bro. <laughs> I remember when we smoked, uh, what was it, 30 grams? Yeah. And like four, da- like four grams of shatter in like, what, two and a half hours? Yeah. On a Tuesday. Yeah. On a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. All yeah. I had work. <laughs> like... It was just like a Tuesday. It was just so fucked. We yeah. just did so much shit. That was just so dumb. Uh, yeah. We were out here. Yeah, we were out here. You'd doing have that. like seventeen bongs on the table. All <laughs> think you're poison. Think you're poison. Everyone just showing off the bong. They have like, look at this one. <laughs> Blue. It's like a showroom. <laughs> Dude, one. it was one perk. <laughs> the next guy pulls out two perks. <laughs> I remember like, for a while where we, we, we were so cool. We were like, let's put ice cubes. It, it actually it was, makes it better. No, it yeah. did make I'm it better. I'm only going to smoke out of this bong if it's Fiji water. In it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, too. Wait, who, did, who said that? Lyndon. Lyndon used to always oh say that God. shit. He'd be like, is there Fiji water in this? And we'd be like, no, I'm it's from the hose outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drinking it's unless from, it's it, Fiji. It's, a, it's a rain water we collected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, left the, we left the bongs outside. And we just filled them up with the rain I water. I put a funnel in Wait, a bong. Wait, would you guys use rain water? No. Dude, bong. listen. No, I'm going to tell you. Hold on. I'm going to tell you something. Maybe. We used to. So when we were hanging out out in the garage, we weren't allowed in Chase's home because his Even father we did not. Allowed allowed to. We were allowed to go in there. We just never did. Yeah, we were allowed. We to, were, but it's like, uh, so not like one that. of these guys would like bring a, like you know a girl wanted to come over and hang out with us, so we would <laughs> and we'd be like, oh, would you like some water? And we're like, <laughs> and we're like yeah, I would love some water. And it's outside. And it's us with a cup. No, <laughs> no! spray no! it, in. it in with the garden hose. The and then you'd see us. You'd see us like. <laughs> just sipping it and we're like there you go you want this nice cloudy water uh, I'm trying to find this picture I have by the way Alex that's what beat COVID for us <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why it. we're still here yeah dude I remember Trying we would to have to like it. savior our firewood, <laughs> dude. <laughs> if it was a weekday and it was safety. cold in the garage, it's like we can't. We gotta save for the weekend, bro. Save the wood for the fire on the weekend. Oh, so and it's, it's like, like if we had a little bit, yeah. bro. If we had a little bit of extra wood, it'd be like Ooh. we could fucking do. We could do a fucking fire during the week. <laughs> the boys are eating the night. You know it's like, but we would pick the coldest day. Okay, what's the coldest day gonna be? It's gonna be Wednesday. Okay, guys, don't touch the wood for Monday and Tuesday. We're oh. looking at the weather app to plan if we're going to be warm or not. Yeah, Everybody, dude, if you didn't come, if so you didn't cold. come in the in in the uh, winter time prepared, like, listen, bro, I wore not our problem. Three I socks. Wore, <laughs> I wore a like uh, pajamas and then jogging pants and then I put my like if I was coming in, I coveralls over top. Oh my god, look how young he is. Yeah, bro. look how young he looks in that. Oh, fuck. He looks so young. Such children. I know. <laughs> Holy fuck. Doing large amounts of drugs. <laughs> Full paychecks on it. <laughs> we make we make spots and parties. Yeah. We'd be like, this is where we're we take now. over a whole section of the house. We would. Yeah. You literally we, you just bust in and like force people. You just be like, all right, this is our area. When we like secure the area. We kind of try and like scope it, scope it up. We'd yeah. pick out a spot that wasn't occupied. Now, if there was a sunroom available. We were taking, we over, were the taking over the sunroom. We were taking over the sunroom because we we at least had like six to ten people, right? So the it's thing like, was, every time we decided to go out as a group, it was pretty much <gasps> just we did what we did in the garage, but in <laughs> someone else's home. And then <laughs> we were upset when someone was upset with us. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we can't hold what this you entire mean? area Wait, on the porch? You mean to tell me I can't chain smoke cigarettes with the window closed? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. You're what? worried about stains? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? What do you about? mean I can't smoke in your basement? Your mom. What do you mean? <laughs> your mom's rare fine china. It's rare. It's not irreplaceable. What are you <laughs> fucking talking about? If I can't pour my whiskey in it, why is it out? <laughs> why is it out? <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get into more fights. Well, we were our pretty gr- much just doing drugs. Because our yeah. group was like, I felt like we were a non-confrontational group <laughs> until we had to be. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because we were just, bro, we were the stone, like, we were just high as shit, like, just t- talking to each other. Do you understand we go to frat parties and Zach's still talk to each other? Yeah. That's what we would do. Let's go to this frat party and talk in the backyard. <laughs> let's, let's, 
Let's go to this frat party and do exactly what we were doing at home. Woo! But we would just want people in public to see us. Guys, we have whole pictures. <laughs> we have full pictures of us at night just standing there. <laughs> standing there with cigarettes, joints in our mouth, just all like... Like 10 dudes. <laughs> so, yeah, just so you guys are just walking. Yeah, thanks, Brayden. Thanks for having us. So that corner, guys, that corner for tonight, that's our corner. Yeah. Where are the picnic tables at? Gav, all the picnic tables in the backyard. We did. Put them in a line. <laughs> Let's all sit there. Look, Brayden, I've been on shrooms all I'm just, can we build a pillow fort? Can yeah. we just make a pillow fort? <laughs> I just like people would just come up to us too. They, yeah. These like people would just show up more. Like more people we would just know, and they oh shit they're here. And then like people would just fucking come around, bro. And we have like twenty people in a group, just twenty people, just twenty bodies in the backyard. <laughs> like who? Are you gonna, you gonna fuck with us? <laughs> I think one time like, I remember I, mean? I like, remember counting in the garage, and I think at one point we had thirty four people in it. That's wild. and I was like that is fucking wild. I, I was like thirty four people are in this garage right now, and we're all either shirtless and taking coats. <laughs> is that what I was say? We were. Someone would just get shirt like Alex would just be shirtless out of nowhere. Like we well, like, came back from fucking Seven Eleven, and my bong was broken. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was eating a Skittle off of somebody else's ass. <laughs> and then Kate was Kate was like Kate was in a speedo. For some and I was like, what the fuck, boys? It was ten I've got ten minutes. He shaved his ass hair with my razor, by the way. Right? I was it, it was fucking Wait, crazy. whose ass? Who is eating what off? Somebody's ass. I honestly uh, don't remember. I can't. I'm not gonna rat any. Okay, so who's Alex? <laughs> Alex <laughs> did the skin <laughs> off someone's ass. Fuck you, Alex. And Kate was like, I was like, I'm not gonna do it. There's <laughs> hair on it. <laughs> Kate went inside and grabbed my razor <laughs> to shave another man's ass so Alex could eat a skittle off. <laughs> And my we mom get, was broke. And we and get no back to 7-Eleven, and Aaron, I walk in. No one cared about Aaron, my there was a man eating a Skittle off another man's ass. Your bong, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my about your priority. bong, and I just heard about it. I don't give a fuck, Darren. My bong was priority. Yeah. <laughs> I never got reimbursed. Oh, I never got reimbursed. Weird day. It was a weird day Dude, all no around. one could reimburse you. We were broke. <laughs> I mean, half the we people in that half the people in that garage were like, my insurance or drugs? Like, <laughs> that, that people were people most of the time it was drugs. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember I heard someone like, say insurance, phone bill, drugs, and I was like, uh, and they're like, I missed my phone bill three. This is the third month I missed it. Like, I was like, you know how many times like, it weed? came up to like, who bought this week? Okay, we all got to pool our resources together to pay his car insurance. <laughs> Oh my god. We would like, bro, everyone would just like, <laughs> how much whatever. you got? 40 bucks. Okay, I got 60. Listen, th- we didn't have much Get in a that nice community. Dime bag. We didn't have much in this, but the one thing we did, we made sure we were all taken care of. We did. Drug wise. <laughs> like financially, <laughs> listen, Finan- financially. We, we try to help. <laughs> Dude, half the time it'd be like, listen, man, if you miss. I mean, here's your, the key to my car. <laughs> yeah. Just look for change. If you, you literally, bro, Listen, it's literally. like, if you miss. Your phone bill, I'll miss mine. It's split on drugs, dude. Oh <laughs> and food, too. Oh, yeah. my fire God. Dude. Food and fire. Food and fire. Dude, do you understand how insane like, it was that we were ordering from Windsor Pizza three times? <laughs> like, it'd be like someone got a pizza and they're like, well, I don't want a pizza. I want a Panzerati, so I'll call back. they so call, get it delivered. Same and then place. someone would be like, oh, you got a Panzerati? Okay, well, I want one, too. Who else wants? And with like three times, this guy came back to the house to drop off food because we all called. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Oh, Wait, shot. Chase, what was that? I was thinking about this the other day that you told me a story when the first time I was on about a guy who brought just a bass guitar in your garage one time to try who and impress that? a bunch of girls or something. Oh, no, that was not my garage. That was a separate garage. Oh, okay. <sighs> but someone tried to bring a bass to come. So, I just remember the cringe one. being strong with the silly. <laughs> okay, like he was, you know, it was his birthday. Okay. Good and for him. He had a guitar. Okay. And he was playing it, trying to impress a girl. <laughs> Uh, so I'm jamming. And you're like, yeah, this guy. I'm this jamming guy to my in. boy playing. I'm like, hell yeah. I know yeah you're like Wonderwall for the fifth time? I'm <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> anyway, but then he finished and I looked around. I was like, it's only me paying attention to this. <laughs> no one else in the room was looking. I feel really bad right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, no one was impressed, unfortunately. But it was pretty baller. I'd never seen anyone pull out a bass guitar at a party. Yeah, that's because yeah, that's, that's uh, yeah. bass players typically... It's not impressive, so you don't do that. And you mm. especially don't, like, you might want to plug a bass in because it's very low. I'm going to extend on this story after we're done, but only for Aaron. <laughs> okay, okay. I also have a story about music wise, too, but it involves my dad. Okay, go Can ahead. Can you say it or no? Yeah, oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay, no. okay, So, so 
so my dad in high school, his, his I buddy love had you, a, by the way. <laughs> his dad, like, my buddy's dad, He's talking about his dad. So my dad's buddy in high school had like a DJ set, right? Yeah. And they, the school's prom, they were like, "Can you guys DJ at the oh, school's prom?" <laughs> and they were like, "Of course, yeah, like we can, no problem." So, to the window, <laughs> <laughs> little John <laughs> remix, but uh, so. They they get all the they get all the recording stuff set up for the day right everything's going well every like just about to start okay uh-huh. they forgot all of the vinyls and the only one they had was Stairway to Heaven <laughs> single copy <laughs> <laughs> so mind you everyone is expecting a you know good, you know everyone's expecting a lot of a lot of stuff right <laughs> so, so they start. They're, they start off with Stairway to Heaven, an eight and a half minute song or whatever it is. <laughs> That's okay. such a long okay. time. Okay. <laughs> now, now, everyone's, and now they're like, what, like, what are we going to do? Like, we have to do something. Sing Freebird. No, so oh. they kept playing, like, Stairway to Heaven, but just remixing it a little bit on the turntables. Wicka, wicka. <laughs> so it just sounds a little different. And by the third time it started playing, everyone was like, bro, what the fuck is going on We're here? We're 30 minutes into this event <laughs> and it's been only oh, one song. Like, what is going what, on? Do you got something good stuff? <laughs> you, got, what, then, you got a problem with the selection? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then they ended up getting booed off stage oh. at their own problem. They're like, yo, my bad guy. Like, we forgot the vinyls. Like, like what do you want from us? so funny. Wait, so thing. while they're playing Stairway for the 30 minutes, nobody thought to, like, drive back They didn't them? know where the stuff was. Mm. Like, so... Somebody said they had it, but didn't have it, oh, and they didn't know where anything was. I got you. So they were like, we are only going to play Stairway to Heaven ten times. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try to, and then they got booed off. By how, the how far you guys you No, no, no. Your dad should have done. Your dad had to do what Marty McFly did in Back to the Future. He had to go up there with a black band and play Johnny Be Good <laughs> and take that away from Chuck Berry, and then <laughs> you, and then he saves the day. That's saves how it goes. Day. And he, he clearly didn't watch that movie. His mom, dude, being a DJ, <laughs> beautiful movie, badass. <laughs> what did you wait? What did you say? Yeah, Marty and McFly then he didn't tries, have to bang. Yeah, his mom. he didn't yes, have to bang. Yes, if he had to bang yes. his mom, that would have been a bad movie. Yeah, that, yeah, would, that movie that was, would not have made it as far. as Yeah, <laughs> that would have been like a lot more documentaries I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> but those don't have very good storylines. It's mostly, oh, I'm stuck under the bed. I'm stuck in the dryer. It's like, okay, are you sure okay. they're documentaries? I mean, it says they are. <laughs> it says, it's on Disney Plus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the parental guidance. His parents, had to, his parents had to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't keep watching this stuff. But he's being recommended. The, I'm on part two of Pirates of the Caribbean parody. And it's, <laughs> never, it's a parody. It's funny, Mom. What do you it's get? funny. It's comedic. It's, I'm here for the plot. The three X's is the rating. It got like three stars. <laughs> <laughs> She, oh, she got stuck where the cannons are. <laughs> they, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to have to blast one into wait, my cannon. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mom, she needs... Her protein is just way too low. She needs more. What do you want? They've been at sea for weeks. <laughs> She's so seasick. <laughs> Dude, it's this like, is our worst bit. I hate this bit the most. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, you guys, have you guys seen that thing where... Um, I think it's like a tribe in Brazil got uh, Starlink. Internet, yeah, yeah. They porn addiction. Oh, right already. away, listen. Right away, they did what we did. Like ever think about it, you got to get the porn hub. The boys got, are the boys. Right, the you porn got hub. boobs. Yeah. So, the boys are the boys. Like they're, they're like this. <laughs> listen, we're gonna give you guys awesome internet. Listen, you could you have pretty much a computer in your hands. You guys can search up anything you want, and the, everyone was like, "Cool porn." Right away, <laughs> you have access right to away. all human knowledge. <laughs> They're just like, we're going to porn. You we're can going learn to porn. Yeah, any school. Hey, they just start to start with anatomy. Can't blame them. Can't blame yeah. them. Health Can't blame them. Healthcare. Healthcare is important. Yes. Yeah. Maybe get a couple gynecologists the, in there for the ladies. You're good. It's you know funny because I, mean? I re- started the first first world nation right there. It's funny because I read some of the like the article or whatever, and the, <laughs> I, I, like the tribe leaders are like, yeah, the men are extremely lazy now, uh, <laughs> and the way they treat women in this fucking tribe is not doing great. Not it, doing good. It's not doing good. You well, it, it was better when everyone was dying at like fifty. <laughs> I hate to say it, but like a lot of the men here, you guys were, really fucked us up with this. A lot. Of, they they want to know who Alexis Texas is. <laughs> <laughs> They've never met her. A good, woman. a good woman is what she is. <laughs> a fucking American hero is what she is. <laughs> 
She is an American Where's hero. Where's her to start? You know the NASCAR start your engines. <laughs> Where's her doing that? Get her out there. Yeah. We should Ooh, get her out there. We're get... with Kevin James. Why not? <laughs> That's a duo. Ladies and gentlemen. I love that one, bro, with the Kevin James. Yeah. yeah. He I didn't have to go that, that hard with that. Kevin he James. Went, you know what? So actually, hard. it was inappropriate how hard he no. went with it. He went <laughs> just the right amount. I've never seen a NASCAR opening ceremony, so I can't say. Me neither. It's, 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 it's what you expect. It's <laughs> not... <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you're thinking. Roll right? time. A lot of false teeth in that vicinity. Good. <laughs> false teeth. It's, Good. it's exactly what you're thinking. Everyone's amped. Like I By was like, way, if I ever got the chance. <laughs> Aaron is right. Going at a NASCAR circle. event. If you could, if I could bet on the over under on teeth, I'd always pick the under. Oh yeah. You know, on how many teeth people have? Like total in the audience. And that includes like kids. Like they lose my like fucking two. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> they're smoking <laughs> baby the teeth. They're yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're chewing tobacco. They're they getting into it. Fat they got a fucking Kyle Larson shirt on. I saw a baby on. with three Zimmons in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't and I face. thought that was inappropriate, honestly. I, know, I, I thought that was a little... Cut him off at two. Yeah, I mean, two's fine. Like He knows what he's doing. I, I, clearly, he knows. He yeah. does know what he's doing. And let that baby make his own decisions. You know what I mean? What are we telling this baby what it can do and not do? You think that's... Wants to smoke a pack of marbles? Let it. <laughs> That's not, yeah. that's not milk. If it knows how, no. I, who are you to stop it? Whoa, Marlboros. Let's start him at Camels. Work his way up to Marlboros. Yeah. All right. Let's John Players. Christ. We don't, <laughs> John, John Players. If there's one thing we don't want to be on this podcast, it's irresponsible. Yeah, yeah that's right? true. So, well, why I'm, waste a Marlboro on a baby who doesn't even know what he's doing? I know. It's oh, fucking dumb. Yeah, you can even inhale more. that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know that's fiscally it? irresponsible. Yeah. I will say. That's financially irresponsible. Yeah, Let's give ba- a baby a pack of Marlboros. We were talking actually. There was this guy when I was at uh, the college, and we're he was. Baby uh, marbles. And there was a couple of guys. <laughs> there was a couple of guys in my class natives. that uh, that smoke still or whatever, right? Like guys who are like twenty, and uh, one guy uh, or one teacher's seventy, and he goes, "I don't know how you guys still smoke." He goes, uh, "I quit smoking in nineteen seventy three when it went up to seventy five cents a pack." <laughs> we're like, fuck. He would be he should be, very, he should be very surprised if you ever gets that craving back. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah. like, Oh, I'm gonna get myself a pack of shit twenty dollars. He's gonna be like, What is this tomfoolery? <laughs> like the Bro, old we, fucking seven we t- He was saying cigarette single cigarettes earlier. I knew a guy that was doing that. You know the metro trucks? They're like yeah. the food trucks that come yeah. around the shops. He was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> little side yeah. hustle. Little side hustle. All right, a little tip for anyone who gets those breakfast trucks coming to their work. Um, anyone going into a trade or anything, um, skip breakfast and like go like right ask what they have for lunch right away. Even if it's 9 a.m., yeah. you know what I mean. The breakfast is never good. If you've no. ever wanted to taste sausage that sound that tastes like it was cooked on sand, oh. then you get something off that truck. But anyways, like it's. If it's you expensive. want a liquid shit, you take something yeah. off that truck. Like, yeah, I watched. Like, I watched a dude that I worked at one of the factories with eat a whole thing, like a whole container of beef stroganoff. Oh, at eight a.m. <laughs> at eight a.m., bro. Uh, he and comes. Such a he he, he comes yeah, over, yeah. bro. He comes over. I'm like, "What'd you get today, Tommy?" And he goes, "You'll never guess." And I was like, <laughs> "All right, man." I was like, "It's eight a.m. I'm just guessing breakfast foods." He goes, "Nah, look at this." Opens it up. It's just Hamburger piping helper. hot. Beef stroganoff, and I was like, "There's, you're not eating that right now, are you?" He's like, "Bro, I'm gonna eat." Yeah, you know, I used, oh, to, like, get, I used right to get the chicken now. parm sandwiches there, dude. Had those. Uh, Zach gets them right now, actively. Really? Yes. Wait, beef stroganoff? <laughs> no, chicken parm. <laughs> chicken parm. But like, listen to this. There, this guy doesn't work at my work anymore, but he used to lit, not even kind of joking, live off the metro truck. Live. That's wild. One week. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating when I say this. One week, he owed. Two hundred and fifty-five dollars for that week on the truck, that's and everyone nuts. went because and because you could nuts. start uh you could start a t- like a tab with the guy okay so, and you pay him you pay him yeah, every pay Friday, him Friday but, yeah. but if you don't yeah. if you don't pay him the Friday you don't get the truck no more Damn. so when he goes uh, okay what's the damage or whatever he goes two fifty-five everyone in line because he was in first so everyone in line heard that out loud and they're like how much do you make <laughs> because there's no way I could afford. Like it is expensive because I used to when I used to get it when I first worked there, my tab was only like twenty bucks because I would yeah. get like a bag of chips and like maybe a pop or a water or something like that. But like I just stopped because I'm like, oh fuck, for all that it's kind of expensive. You know what I mean? This guy was like, yeah, two hundred like fifty five bucks. I'll fucking that's like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Dude, this guy I would get that's... not even like two bags of chips, a thing of cookies, two drinks, two sandwiches every fucking day. Oh, There's like a that's a, a lot. My dude, fuck. Yeah. My dad worked with a guy and he was he's a hand like. Handman is what they call him. So like on molds, you uh, 
you're literally taking off like a fraction of a thousandth of like an inch to like try and make it fit perfectly essentially okay. so you like key like steadiness like you know precision all that shit this guy was an alcoholic he would be useless before 9 a.m because 9 a.m was their break he would be shaking he'd go out to his car take like three or between three and five shots he'd be steady all day he'd be fine after well that. yeah you gotta but get he's useless shake. yeah i knew i, I said this not face. too long ago but i uh a dr- i knew a drywaller like that like yeah, he was drywalling uh dry fucking walling a wall and he goes uh dude i'm, I'm shaking too much hold on yeah. and he went to his car poured vodka in his cup started chugging it back Damn. and he was like i'm good now i'm fine well, I knew a person on heroin like that yeah. too. Well, at my heroin. work, yes, they heroin. every I, they they would yeah. leave at lunch, go get their heroin, come back, fine. They were fine the rest of the day. Yeah, they worked well. And all they like, worked well. They worked yeah. fine. Dude, there were people like Artie, even Artie Lang. He was on like Howard Stern for years. Oh. And he would be like, and he was like a heavy, heavy, but he didn't, he didn't inject it. He would snort it because he didn't want track marks. Yeah. So he would, uh, and even Jim Norton, who was sober since he was seventeen, because he was like an alcoholic when he was like a kid. So he's sober. He's like, I would come in like all groggy and like whatever. And he goes, Artie Lang would beat me into work. Damn. Like he would, he would, he was like, he was always prompt. He was always on time. He was always, he's like, and it's like some people can do that. Some people are functioning like at addicts, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they don't see a problem because they can work with it and it doesn't affect them. So. There was a guy that told me that too. He goes, you'd be surprised how many people around here function like that. Like oh, function yeah. on coke, yeah, function on any kind know, of drug. I knew one kid that, I'm not going to say his name, but I remember like when I worked at one of the jobs, he would like, he would have like a, like a 40 a crown like every day. Oh he yeah. Would, he would drink a 40 oh, yeah, a bro. crown of every, like, every day. And then like, I would like, he would literally be like, yeah, man, like, Stand in the way, like stand in the doorway for me so I can like drink this, and I'd be like, "Damn, bro!" And then like I remember him saying that he had to go to the doctors because you know liver problems, right? He said the doctor told him that it was worse. Like if he stopped drinking, it would be worse for him too. You can't cold turkey it, bro. Well, yeah. No like, alcohol, it was, you but, literally can't. They you have can't. to give. It. Well, that's the thing like, about um, even like a guy, like a guy, like one of my first bosses at the place I used to work at, he was saying, and it's like, and, and it is like. It, it does show like a stress of the trade too, right? Because yeah. like mold, like I'll speak for like what I know, but like molds, like it used to be like six months between. Now it's like three months. Yeah. So you changed it. People get more stress. Like my dad used to know a guy. He did a competition with someone at work, see who could get a job done the fastest. Mm-hmm. He won, but every like three to five months, he would fucking break down with a panic attack because of that shit. And he would, and it's like a lot of guys like do that shit. And I knew a guy, um, like I said, a guy I used to work for his. He had a buddy, and the one time I heard him, he's like, yeah, his doctor basically told him, like, you got to stop drinking. You got to, like, cut it out, right? Yeah. Or else you're not going to make it. And then, like, a few months later, I heard he died because he couldn't cut <laughs> it out, right? Damn. So, like, the fucking, like, trades are good because there's a lot of work, and there's a lot of, like, learning, and you'll always need them relatively, like, yeah. speaking for, like, most of them, for a majority of them. But, like, at the same time, it's like, bro, like, there's a lot of, like, pitfalls you got to, like, kind of avoid in that shit, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I know, yeah. Chase, you could probably speak to that too like I, I know you can't but like yeah, yeah well let's just like i i again he, like, I, I, but, like, you get what you're saying he's like yeah you see a lot like, of guys you understand probably, yeah. 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 like it's and it's like and it's like i knew guys like that like um there's a guy who trained me when i was like 16 to like 18 like when i first got in the trade and he's like i saw him on instagram and it seems like he was going through like like a mental health thing and it's like fuck like you know what i mean like mm. like and he wasn't like that when i knew him and who knows what happened obviously in his personal life but it's like stress and all that doesn't help either no. that's why like i'm kinda, i was like, so stressed i pissed blood for months yeah that's that wild. sounds fun it different color <laughs> <laughs> it's it just like it is those jobs though man it's something about those jobs yeah because there's Fuck. like there's so many guys i know who as soon as that clock like as soon as it's time to clock out it is time to fucking drink was, yeah. like it is time like boom like they will go like i know there's at least I don't know how many guys I can count on my work that I know leave and go to the bar right away. Like they yeah. leave and go right there. Yeah. Right there. And then they're in bed by like eight. Cause then you're like wondering how do they do that? Cause they're so drunk. They fall asleep by fucking seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just like one, one of those things, man. There's like, or I knew a girl that came in that used to drink like six, like a six pack of tall boys. She'd come in at four, but we didn't start till five 30. Not only that, but have yeah. you guys seen the, uh, have you guys seen every few months the, uh, I know I used to see this at work, uh, the cab dropping someone off because either they lost their license <laughs> yeah. because of that or the night before they just got so fucked up they couldn't, obviously it's a smart decision not to drive to work, but they got a cab. But like most of the time it's like you'll see one for a few months and it'll go because somebody got their fucking license suspended and then they'll, they'll I, I had a guy, away. he yeah. lost his license so he couldn't drive. Mm. So he had someone else drive him in 
and on the way in, they got pulled over, and the guy who was driving him in lost his license. No. <laughs> no. They were both drunk. The, the guy had a fucking breathalyzer thing in his car. I think oh. the neighbor to blow in the thing so they could get to work. And then, <laughs> Bro. Got pulled over, and he had to walk the other half because the other guy, you know. My, my dad knew a guy who was like a quote-unquote farmer in yeah. B.C. in like the 90s. So he was fucking doing, selling dope in BC, basically in like the 80s. And he swore to God he he saw a fucking four foot woodpecker in Northern Ontario. <laughs> and he saw a fucking eagle swoop down in a river, grab a fish. And by the time the fish came out of the water, it was all bone. Oh. This guy was fucking, this guy was like not like the healthiest. Of, there was a guy they call, um, I met um, my dad's little old group called Curtis Will Hurt Us. Oh, that was Curtis. <laughs> yeah, and he uh, he gave me a guitar tuner. He said it's clear, so it goes with everything. Nice. Yeah, nice. a lot of sl- I love. Uh, I miss I miss work sometimes because you meet guys, but it's good. You miss guys that are all yeah. over the place too. Yeah, like yeah. you do. Yeah. Like I knew a guy who did get his license suspended. It did not stop him from driving. No. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you a story. So uh, <laughs> Does it have so a moral? one <laughs> so one time we were we did the, these uh, these rims for a cop. He was an OPP officer. And we, I told this story before. I think Chase has heard it. Yeah. So <laughs> he comes, but he's still in his uniform and he's in this OPP car because yeah. he was like, I'm about to get off my shift. I'm just going to pick up my rims now and then put them in my car when I get to the station. So he comes and he, he's paying for it. And we're like, hey, do you want to fuck, fuck with our, can We want to fuck with our buddy uh, back there or whatever. I'm not going to say his name, Tom. I'll just say Tommy. We're going to fuck with our buddy Tommy back there. Do you mind? Um, you know, do you mind playing along? And the, and the cop was totally down. Like, yeah, absolutely. So I go. They send me out. I'm 16. So they send me out. <laughs> so they send me out. And I go to him and I said, Tommy, man, I don't know what's going on, but uh, the, there's a warrant There's a warrant for you and the cops are here at the front. And this guy goes, oh, okay, 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 uh, whatever. And I, t- I turn my back. And as I turn my back, I'm like, I'm turned probably for two minutes because I'm going, walking back to the office. Yeah. I turn around. I see this dude sprinting <laughs> into the woods. He's sprinting, haul ass sprinting into the woods. And I have to go in, and it's so awkward. <laughs> and, uh, I have to go yeah, in. Uh, he's not available so right now. I'm like, uh, and they're like, did you tell him? And I'm like, is he co-? they're like, is he coming? He's coming. And I'm like, he ran. <laughs> uh, and they're like, what? I'm like. I, t- I, turned, I told him I turned around and he ran, car, car left there and everything he ran into the woods yeah. and then the, the cop just goes must have did something and took his shit <laughs> fucking, <laughs> and it took his rims in the back of my car he took his shit so then when he like you know uh, uh, honest to god like 20-25 minutes later he comes back sees that the cop car is gone and he goes why was the cop here why was the cop here and we're like bro why did you run yeah. like we told that cop to play along he was just picking up his rims and he goes, oh, I don't know. And I'm, we're like, what did you do? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, I did. I heard Why that. Why risk I, it? Why risk it? It's like, you got a chance to run. You take. There was, a, there was My dad was a manager at like a plant like since he was like 20, right? Or whatever. So like, and his dad, um, his dad owned the shop or whatever. So he's, he went in there late at night and there's these guys. He just hears like a, and then like a, ow. And then like a, another, and then an, ow. And he finds out in the shop, these guys are having like essentially a fucking uh, airsoft war where they have fucking high press, like to clean off, you know, the CNC machines, yeah. high pressure like air, air hoses. They're fucking putting little like BBs and little shit they can find around the shop, like plastic shit, like little like mm-hmm. resin shit. Yeah. They're putting that in there and shooting each other and hiding behind machines. And it's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> it's like, it's literally like 12 a.m. and these guys are fucking having like an airsoft war in the middle of a shop. Dude, I used to have that at my shop. Yeah. No, but my dad was saying too. It's like it's like my dad was. Uh, my dad said in the trades, he's like the thing that's changed, and he goes and he goes. I used to think it was bullshit, but like, and he goes, but like hearing from you and hearing from a couple other guys about the trades, he goes, he's like when I was a kid in like the eighties, like when I was coming up, he goes, you would work, you would fucking work hard, and you would work, and sometimes you'd clock out and you'd still work because shit need to be done. He's like it's the way it is, yeah. and he goes, but he goes, we'd have fun, yeah, like we'd have fun. He's like that airsoft war. He goes, I didn't yell at the guys. He's like I just told him like. You know, like fucking knock it off for the night and fucking at least wear fucking safety glasses for having an airsoft war. <laughs> like he didn't yeah. like he didn't get mad. He's like people and he's like I pull like my dad used to fucking pull I'll tell you in a minute, but like my dad used to pull fucking pull pranks on people. Like he used to <laughs> like it used to be fun as fuck. And then now it's like it's all business. It's all bottom line. It's all yeah. like you can't have fun anymore. And it's like that's part of it. It's like you need you need people to 
like lay off like you need to be able to like burn off the stress and yeah burn off like all that like tight deadlines and stuff especially but, like, you gotta know that. that yeah bro. and and especially like again like we're talking about like the drugs and alcohol and stuff it's like well if i can't burn it off at work anymore then i'm gonna burn it off at you know this place or that place or yeah. whatever and people don't, and more and more people don't give a fuck about your personal life right like yeah. certain shops and shirt certain like uh employers right so yeah. it's like it's hard with shit like that but like my i know my dad one time he um there's this guy who had ocd at work he didn't like and because the guy was like <laughs> apparently the guy was an asshole and they butted heads like it was like a thing but like um, <laughs> um my dad had saved off a job like already and the deal was at the time in like the early 2000s and i remember this because i've been in and out of mold shops you have to keep in mind from like the time i'm like four because my dad had a rule um our our asked his employer he's like listen i'll work saturdays and i'll work some sundays if you need me to but my wife watches she's on maternity leave she watches the kids like 12 hours a day fucking five days a week he goes she needs a day off like a day off so just like let me bring the kids to work while i'm working so we'd be there and put them to work and this is <laughs> <laughs> no but like, the CNC but, uh, for free. <laughs> but this was like this, i think this is when my mom was on maternity leave with me when i was like young so we brought my sister and um he told the guy he's like uh but the guy told my, um outside in an, another office he's like hey um do we have do you have that job done and he goes yeah i got he's like i got a new guy working on it he goes, he's, he's like, uh, really good, but we'll, we will have it. Like, it's good. It's fine. If you want to meet him. And he goes, yeah, no problem. And he goes, and he, and he, so he walks into the office and right before they open the door to the room, he goes, I just want to warn you just before we go in, um, this person, he's a little bit like smaller, like, like vertically, like just letting you know. And then he goes, oh, okay, no problem. It's, he walks in, it's my sister at like literally like three, two and a half, three years old. She's 27 now. She's she's clicking on a screen just randomly clicking on a mouse and there's circles popping up on a page on this mold design that's like due oh. like oh. fucking quarter of a million dollar mold design this guy flips the fuck out and just runs out of the room and my dad's dad who owned the shop came over and he goes what the fuck like what are you doing and my dad's like i have it saved off yeah. he's like it's fine i have it all done like it's all good all the files he wants i have i've sent out already everything's fine but like we're uh but, but he's like, he's like, yeah, he's an asshole. So <laughs> and then, uh, there was another time where like this guy, my dad would purposely print shit. So like I said, this guy like OCD or like he was just kind of anal or whatever. So my dad would print shit off center purposely. So the guy, any way he would turn it, it wouldn't be properly centered. <laughs> and shit, and it's just, my, dude, my grandpa, he fucking, we were at his funeral one time. His, this guy, because like I said, he owned a mold shop in the fifth or maybe in the fifties. There used to be a crack in the roof of where they worked, the fucking mold shop this guy um and whenever it rained it would leak down on him right mm. finds out that even when it didn't rain it would leak on him turns out my grandpa was there pissing in the crack and it was <gasps> dripping down on him oh, <laughs> oh my dude, god dude there was dude <laughs> another dude another <laughs> Just keep in mind pissed on, but keep oh in mind that's like goodness. the 50s and 60s yeah. right but like another no one back then. dude There's another no laws. just another <laughs> really quick one if you want me to stop let me know no, but just oh, another man. quick one my my grandpa they used to fucking pull pranks with like explosions <laughs> like mini ex like small explosions yeah like small okay. ones like like you literally open a desk and like a flash happens and it's no nobody gets hurt right yeah now these these over the years got bigger and bigger and bigger so at what point eventually is it eventually what <laughs> happened eventually what happened my grandfather fucking put a put a uh, a small explosive on a pillar Turns out it was a support beam. Mm. Put a fucking mm. dent in it. Like oh. a huge dent in the support <laughs> beam. Couldn't hear anything because he's right next to it. So his ears were ringing. Couldn't hear anything. The the fire marshal comes over yelling at him, screaming. And he can't hear what he's saying. So when he sees his lips stop moving, all he, all he says is, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a thing. He just keeps hearing, saying, I didn't hear a thing. And then they, a bit? Yeah, a little bit. Thanks, man. <laughs> but yeah. No, nah, trades are fun. Overall, they are. good stories, mm -hmm. but I see a know. lot of different characters. On he's got to dodge. It's like any career, though. He's got to dodge right. some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. yeah. No, I think I mean the people I work with are cool. Yeah. I think, I think in the like you know like most of the people that we see like we do all the Rosati jobs and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're organized. Like they're like they're good people. Honestly, like not really assholes. They're good people. Like you see like the ones once in a while, like you said, like they get the jitters and stuff. But yeah. even those guys are nice. Good. No, but like, like everyone's pretty nice, man. No, no you got to be nice. But like, listen, here's what I think. There, for the same shit. There, there are so many guys that I have worked with over the years that they like, <clears throat> you know, 
I get. I think everyone here too has had probably a shitty boss yeah. before. Oh, yeah, bro. I've, so it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, when the boss is on your like ass, I think it's easier to get along with coworkers. Like I knew guys mm-hmm. who would like deliberately just talk like the most shit. Yeah. I mean, like they didn't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Nice, bro. All right, man. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Uh, (laughs) But, like, like, no, you know what I mean? Like, you have that. You have that, though. But I think what's cool is, like, when you can actually be at work busting balls with, like, you know, whatever it is. Like, you're on the construction site. You're busting balls with the construction site. You know, you can't catcall anymore. So, you got to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I would, would, like, it's like I was saying, like, before, though, like, the guys you're talking about, like, I had had somebody I worked under at another, a different place, right? And they were saying, like, and this guy would, like, give me shit. Like, but it's like, he's calling in Saturday yeah. when I'm in Saturday and he is at, because he's hung over yeah. and yeah. it's like, there are guys like you, like Jake just talked about and I talked about with my dad where it's like, there are guys who, who can do that shit and like, it doesn't affect their job and they're fine. But yeah. then there's guys who are in like, okay, you want to make a bit more money. Now you got to kind of clean up your act a bit. Yeah. Now, now you're an example. But yeah. like, but you know it's like I mean? that's why you don't get asked for like. If there's like a position that opens up the tire, like why are they gonna hire you? Like my dad, I'm gonna give a good example. My dad, <clears throat> one time he got asked to be a union rep. Nice. And my dad goes, I don't wanna be a union rep. And they asked him, when they asked him why, he said, I don't wanna be defending a guy who, cause he chose to drink the night before or something, and he calls in four times a month and I have to sit there and fucking defend him. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he goes, I don't think I should defend him. Yeah. He goes, You chose to drink. That's up yeah. to you, man. Yeah. My dad and my dad, it's so funny because my dad is like that though. Cause whenever yeah. when I was younger and I went at whatever whatever frat party we were at or whatever the night before and I had to do like I had to go to work or something. Yeah. My dad's like, No, you're getting up. Oh yeah. Like you he yeah. goes, No, 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 you chose to drink last yeah. night. This is what it is now. Oh yeah. Go to work. And oh, my yeah. dad was not he didn't give a fuck about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. Bro, my dad was the exact same way. He goes, I drank the night before. He goes, I'm I'm going in. Bro, my yeah. dad, my dad told me that right when I turned 18, he said, I don't give a fuck about anything you do right now. He goes, You just gotta go to work. Yeah. That's all I care. He's like, just go to work. Yeah. He's like, as long as you show up to work, you're not gonna hear anything from me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. Because that's what you know, like like my dad owned a house when he was 18 yeah. and didn't yeah. have like the money to really you know what I mean? So like he went to work, like he took his first like vacation when he's like twenty two. So it's like you got it. Like you're 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 dealing with that mind too, a mindset, and it's like and, and it's, yeah. it's like I get it. Like you're you come from a different like like a whole different animal, but it's like I think because you had to and because you had to like maybe he because he had he knew like he's like oh shit I have a house at eighteen I gotta pay for he's like working all that shit, but it's like he so he saw past a lot of the the pitfalls yeah. you know what I mean or he just dealt with them and and if, rather than maybe like going on to something else so there are right. things like kind of like with your dad too it's like your dad i'm sure he sees like a lot of like again the pitfalls of that job and the pitfalls of like other jobs but he's like well i'm fucking you know what i mean i'm 30 yeah something years in so like well he used gonna, to yeah. well he used to say like it's showing up that's important yeah like, he goes you don't realize that like, that's really the only thing that but, matters because he goes if you could like my dad used to say this shit all the time if you could just show up to a job he goes you will you don't even understand. You don't even have to be better than the guy at the job. Yeah. He goes, but if you just show up every day, that's all they care. Do you understand how fast you move up? Oh, if yeah. you just show up every fucking day, mm-hmm. you move up pretty fucking quick, which is, he's right. Because ever since, I don't really take many days off. It's like very <laughs> rare. Because now I just finally earned, like I, I worked at my place long enough now where I get three weeks vacation. Yeah. So it's like, I, I take things here and there. Mm-hmm. But it's like, my I think it's because my dad like instilled at me at young because I rem- I don't know about you guys but for me like I've had a way of income since I was twelve years old yeah. like I remember I, I remember I always tell this story like my dad um, I remember I wanted something at uh, I, I forget if it was like the dollar store or something like that I wanted something and my dad's like you got money for it and I was like uh, no yeah. I don't and he was like well. You better get. Yeah, you better like start figure it and out. My, and my dad that day, mm-hmm. we as we were leaving, we would stop at a few houses and be like, "My son will come every week, cut your grass for twenty twenty five bucks, depending on the lawn." Was oh yeah. yeah, I remember I cut this like patch of grass. I was literally no bigger than this studio, <laughs> and this woman paid me fifty dollars a week. God, damn. swear to God, yeah, I walk dogs and mowed lawns and shit yeah. too. I, yeah, yeah, I, I mowed lawns. Yeah, that's what, and I Big walked. Dog, I walked our neighbor's dog across the street. That every day after football practice, I'd walk that neighbor's yeah. dog. I came home, walk that neighbor's dog. Yep. But it was like that's how I did. It. I don't know about you guys, but like I know so many people now. I know so many people. They don't even have a job till they're like twenty. Yeah. I know so many people. My like that, first bro. job interview, I was fourteen, and I got hired the day I turned fifteen. And I, yeah, I didn't take a single day off until I was like three days in, three yeah. years yeah. into that job. Sorry, yeah. 
McDonald's. Yeah, man, hey, let's go. I quit every <laughs> extracurricular activity I joined. I quit because yeah. I'm like, I got, I got work that day. <laughs> but you it know, is because I, I work three thirty to eleven. Bro, Five remember, days a week. <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember when I was 15 years old, my birthday present was my dad bringing me out for handing out resumes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my birthday. He was like, let's go. As remember, you're 15, you can make money now. As it's cool remember, that my brother uh, and sister didn't get the same treatment. But as yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I didn't even Bro, get a we, choice yeah, of that. I'm the youngest, and it's the same thing for me. As Lucky. I remember my uh, my 16th, uh, near my 16th birthday, we had, uh, we had uh, parent-teacher interviews, and after a really bad one, my dad on the way home, he was just like, He's like, my parents didn't uh, worry about me till I was 16. He's like, you're on your own. He's like, you can make your own decisions at this point. And I'm like, fuck, I'm 16. I'm like, I'm going to make a lot of bad decisions. But yeah, but like he never like after that, he like never, it was always like up to me kind of a thing. You know what I mean? I was always pretty, pretty independent since like 16 or whatever, because he just didn't like, he would like support me in like with with cars and stuff. Like when I'm buying a car, he'll look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Like give me his advice. He's a good guy, but like, it's well, yeah, he's probably going to help you out. Yeah. Yeah, Like, like, like with your dad and all that stuff. Right. But like, you're not, yeah. yeah. But my dad just didn't fuck around with that shit. Oh yeah. My dad was like, no, 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 you're going to work. Like you're working. Yeah. Like that's just how it is. No, I remember that. You want that truck? Yeah. That's great. Well, it needs to be fixed. So fucking get working. Dude, when I was 12 years old, I was pulling in like, 220 a week yeah. just from cutting grass and that was like bro when you had 220 coming in a week as a kid yeah holy shit the Corner amount of store. chips i could buy bro she's yeah. so on me <laughs> yeah. no but i remember uh i remember too my dad i called i call i got a call because austin gale got me in as a dishwasher from armando's but before he did the guy called him, the manager from armando's called me and i was like uh and he goes, what are you looking for? And I'm like, dishwasher, you know, part-time, that kind of shit. And he goes, oh, we don't really have anything for that right now, but, like, we'll uh, we'll let you know. And I hung up, and my dad gave me a fucking earful because he's like, he's like, oh, so you didn't ask what else they wanted? You didn't ask, like, what else they were looking for? He's like, you didn't oh. say, oh, any other work, like, you'll do? You didn't say this? You didn't, like, it's like, it's like I just... It's like all that. It's like you didn't push. Like you didn't fucking. Like you didn't. Like, yeah, but yeah, you gotta remember how they shit. grew up too. Oh no, because my dad. Yeah. I know my grandpa was hard on oh, my dad. Yeah, like, yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, he's like, oh, you're not doing anything this weekend. Good, you're gonna fucking take apart that whole dirt bike and you're gonna put it back together because I want you to know how to fix oh, it. <laughs> I want you to know that thing inside out. And he would. He just yeah. would. I saw a meme and it was yesterday and it was like just like that where it's like the Kevin Hart and uh, the Rock thing from that in <laughs> yeah, yeah where it's like about. where it's like where it's like your dad making you twelve hours of general labor. Are you in On or are you Saturday. out? Well I'm out. <laughs> ah sorry you're in. But you're in <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> it's like I didn't sign up for this. It's like well you already did and it's like no <laughs> No, dude. My dad would wake me up on Saturday mornings, being like, "Okay, we got to go pick up a trailer," and then that would be the extent of it. Like, <laughs> just we're going to pick That's up a trailer, it. not that we're gonna re like we're gonna revive this whole fucking goddamn trailer. We're gonna rip the floors your dad, out. <laughs> your dad watch HGTV the night before. And he got some ideas. I'm gonna renovate a trailer. Dude, it was like a, just a holes. gamble. It was a gamble. What my dad wanted to do that weekend, like you just said, and you didn't know till that morning, yeah. until he woke you up, and then you were like, "Oh fuck, what am I doing?" And he's like, "We're going fucking, we're gonna clean the pool all day." I'm like, "The pool doesn't take all day. It does when I'm doing it." <laughs> my mom, yeah. my mom's like that, but like with family outings, where she'll like, we'll be out, and she'll be like, "Oh, let's go to uh, let's go to the like Wolfhead Brewery out in Lima. Like, let's go out there in Amherstburg." I'm like, "Okay, like that's cool and whatever," and we'll be done there, have a good time and all that. And she'll be like. Let's go for a drive. Let's see what else is out there. I'm like, oh. yeah. I'm like, I, I gotta get back and like, you know, I got important games to play and stuff. Like, I don't want to go for a drive. You were like, our parents don't understand. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? They don't get you it, bro. You ever have, dude? Our generation are like, oh, we're gonna be the best parents because we will not ask our kids. Can you just pause the game that's online all the time? Yeah. Let me know when that round's done. They're gonna be. They're gonna. <laughs> no, my, I'm my, gonna my, be the one yelling at them, being like, they're gonna be like, mom. Dad. I don't give a fuck about your like, KDA. Get the yeah. fuck out of there. Okay, I'm going play Minecraft. It's round 11. Feed yourself. <laughs> I am in a battle right now in Sea of Thieves. Get the fuck out of my room. Oh, <laughs> by the way, if you don't, don't get, figure it out yourself. Don't get top 10 in Fortnite. You're getting fucking grounded, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Grounded right hey, ass. hey, kid. I'm in fucking Northwest right now. Yeah, <laughs> shut the shut fuck up. Uh, if you cry again, yeah. I swear to God, hey, I'll put you're you like kid. yelling. You're like, hey, kid, you know. Fucking kid down. God. Hey kid, you know you know what the gulags are like? 
lose lose the next four Fortnite round. You're gonna find out. You're gonna you're gonna come real close to finding out. You know what's like breaking rocks with a pickaxe? You know how hard that is <laughs> <laughs> with chains on have and you, a gulag. Have you ever done a speed run, speed run Minecraft? I don't think so. Yeah, get the fuck out of my room. Get shut the fuck up. Go cook your own. Do you dinner. remember when Dream cheated? I don't think so. Were you ever hurt like that again? You weren't even there. <laughs> your girlfriend broke up with you, son. Yeah. Well, did you ever hear about Dream? <laughs> when he when he took us all and hired a fucking Harvard physicist to try and disprove Harvard it. physicist. Yeah, I, never, I never liked him to be honest. Dream. I never nah. watched his content. It was Guys, always... I never heard of this guy until people were like, he made a face reveal. Yeah, and I was like, what? You know, too, it was weird though because like when he did his face reveal, everyone was like, "Bro, you're so fucking ugly." <laughs> Shut up! He's was literally like, the me. most average looking yeah, white boy some, in the yeah, world. Yeah, honestly, he wasn't. And even people were like, "Boo!" He really wasn't. Like he, everyone just like, people, everyone was like, "You're fucking hideous." I was like, "Oh my god." People People hated him for no reason, dude. Yeah. Well, and I was like, a, I was a pretty big fan of his yeah. at one point. Like, I would, I would come home from school excited as fuck for his streams and shit. Like, I was deep into the lore. Yeah, like last yeah. week, and right? Then, yeah, I still watch his videos. <laughs> you still post? Still, she was like, okay. I thought he I had like allegations. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I just, well, I just told you I know the deep dark lore of the Dream <laughs> SMP. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> dream but, simp. Lol. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Uh oh. <laughs> I remember when I was going in for my first job interview. And my dad looked at me. He goes, "There's no job above or below you." And I've been running with that for <laughs> eight years now. I remember I got into my first car accident. And my mom and I were sitting there for hours in a fucking Walmart parking lot, the one on the Cumsy, because I fucked up like the axle like really bad. Ooh. Like the wheels looked like. Literally look like that. Like it was oh, bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Which is cool, like if you're tricking out your car. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got camera. But, uh, on, man. I got We're home. To do that. First thing, my dad. I heard from my dad upstairs. He goes, "How'd you fuck up now?" <laughs> I'm like, ah, fuck. <laughs> dude, when, fuck. <laughs> when your dad used to say that, dude, I remember in grade school, I would constantly be grounded. Like I would, <laughs> dude, I yeah, would literally say, dude, literally I swear saved. to God, I would get off being grounded, and then that day I'd get regrounded. I never for got. Something. I'd be like, sweet, and then my dad would be like. So, so, school, so you want to be a fucking clown in school, <laughs> eh? You want to be the funny guy oh, in yeah. school, huh? Oh, yeah. You, you guys had the <laughs> bad parent teacher interviews in yeah. a while in grade yeah. school. Yeah. My dad... Fucking funny guy, huh? Fucking funny guy all of a sudden. Comedian. We got a comedian, Steph. Steph, we got a fucking comedian now all of a sudden for a son. <laughs> my dad... Uh, my, I remember my dad and my one teacher in fourth grade. They were both in like super into like World War One history. Like both buffs, and so they were talking about that, and it got to the point where they're like thirty minutes into the parent teacher room, and my mom's like, "Can we talk about Matthew?" Because <laughs> they're just broing out over like in the street. <laughs> and that teacher, yeah, yeah, that teacher, his name is that was Mr. Name. He was at St. Rose for a year. Yep. Yeah, that was. was oh yeah, you had him. You were yeah, in that class. I was, yeah, I remember. I was in that class. Yeah, yeah no, was he was his name good. Mr. Name. N A I M. I probably shouldn't say that. That's no. his full name. But <laughs> hey, Rain. Time stamp that. <laughs> he was a good teacher. I saw though. him in grade twelve, actually. Really? Yeah, and he he was like, "Man, he came up to me." I was like, "Oh yeah, Aaron's still like." I told him Aaron's up running and stuff, and he was so like, "He's not doing good. He's on fet." Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> he actually no, he was at, no, no, no. He, he's at like <laughs> fet kick last I saw. I believe he was at Saint <laughs> Bernard. I could be wrong, but like he was at he was he's a good he's, he was, a, he's, he, he's honestly one of the best teachers he I had. He was a really good teacher. Yeah, remember he wore soccer shirts all the time and all that shit. He would always just like he would just take us out to like go do shit. Yeah. Um, um, like in the field. Dude, remember he came into class one day and a car door opened and he fucking ate it on his bike. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> Dude, he ate it on his bike. Yeah. When it was nice though, because he's one of those teachers. He's like, he's like, he's green, but like he didn't really push on anyone really. To yeah. be fair, but like he um. We had a teacher like that at Brennan. Uh, Mr. The French guy. Mr. Uh, oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Geniac. No, 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Go oh, Gorman. Gorman. Yeah, oh, Gorman. bro, yeah. this guy would ride his bike from LaSalle yeah. to Windsor. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, bro. That Mr. O'Gorman rode his bike to from LaSalle yeah, and every back day. every day. Holy yeah. even in the fuck. even in the fall and like even, like even the winter times too. If it was like just just nice enough for him to just like not be cold when he was doing nice. it, he would just fucking Ten. ride his bike every single day. If he didn't push it on you, and, he goes, uh, I just, just like riding it. And Mr. <laughs> what was it, Mr. Name, like one time he's, he's telling us he wrote, he, I forget what <laughs> happened. I, I forget why, but like maybe he was limping or something or he had something on or whatever the fuck. But like he was like, he was like, yeah, I wrote my bike into some car door open. He fucking he ran right into the car door. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, fuck. You still, I would call in if I had a sneeze and you're <laughs> like. <laughs> Getting bodied by yeah, a car. Dude, riding a body. bike is so cool until you get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, this the thing has an engine time. on it, shouldn't it? 
Did you, get, did you get hit flying 15 feet? Dude, I don't air? know why when I got hit, I was embarrassed. Like you I got was, hit? Oh, yeah. Oh. I was riding to work one day. and uh, <laughs> No, I wasn't. Uh, this is a 15-year-old. DD. Yeah. <laughs> DD on that bike, bro. Yeah. <laughs> DD drunk driver. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I'm riding to work. It's like a Saturday. It, I had to work like at <laughs> noon or whatever. Even worse. It's on yeah. a Saturday, too. <laughs> so I'm riding my bike. Little old Jake Grant just riding his bike. <laughs> and then I fucking am like, I'm like, oh, that car will stop. And I go right fucking by. And it's, it did not stop. It did not stop. Bro, it smoked me. I got hit on the way to St. Rose one day or grade school. In grade eight, this guy like was turning. <laughs> And I was I was halfway from crossing already. Yeah. Didn't see me, and there was like, and he so he made the turn. And he hit like my back wheel, Damn. and I spun out and fell over. And he was like, "Are you all right?" And I'm like, "Yep." Yeah. <laughs> I, I would have like, been like, yeah. "Fuck yeah. you!" Got bro. hit by a car. Not a big deal. head injury. Head injury. <laughs> I can't oh, see. Oh, my back, my back. I can't <laughs> see. I literally. <laughs> I'm back. legally blind. <laughs> I can't see. It's like, sir, I hit your back tire. I can't see. <laughs> Pat I'm, talks about that too. I got hit? Well, yeah, it doesn't surprise I mean, me, though. It's surprising when Pat didn't get hit more. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I sit there and when Pat talks yeah, about Tyler it. Tyler has like, concussions. What's Pat's excuse? Yeah. <laughs> Pat's is out. You're getting hit by cars. He I had little Pat. Caesars or whatever in his hand or some shit. Guy hit. Oh. Dude, I was riding home for I forget sure. exactly. My actually, bread stinks. The guy did him a favor. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, get some real pizza. I was yeah. riding home from Christian Morno's party one time in grade school in uh, St. Rose and he gave us like goodie bags and shit and I had my shit. So I was riding no hands all the way home, and I <laughs> fell over. I ate oh. shit, and there was dirt oh. all over the candy. Oh. And I Dude, I remember I was drunk as fuck at Devin's <laughs> house, a and my and my brother, and I t- convinced my brother to come walk with me drunk home. <laughs> like I was like, ride your bike here, and, go. and then when he got there, I was so drunk that I was like, listen, like, man, you get on the handlebars, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll and I'll, I'll fuck. drive. Yeah, and then after Dude. I realized real quick I couldn't. So I'm like, okay, bro, let's switch. Because that will work really well. <laughs> if you drive, I, bro, we, I mean, smoked right in front of St. Al's. Oh. Like, I mean, ate shit hard. Like, I, I fell and I was laying down. Yeah. And he was like, bro, are you okay? Bro. And I'm like, oh, where's my beer? And uh, <laughs> he got me my beer and we just walked the rest bro. of the way. I, yeah. was, I, was, I was biking my hardest, like 10 years old, down four test track, right? I was fucking flying. Hit one handlebar, flipped over the handlebars. Mm-hmm. Oh, my oh. nutsack, oh. Oh. single-handedly landed on top of the the steering wheel. Was like up like that, like ninety degrees, landed right on top of it. Oh. I had a bruise on my ball sack <laughs> for <laughs> weeks. Oh. Like if I hadn't look, I know what those guys in Vietnam went through. I think. Oh, <laughs> those <laughs> poor our poor veterans <laughs> that went through that. <laughs> God. I remember we used to just uh, go down Suicide Hill. Oh. And, we would, and we would just be like, Dude, right, guys would do anything like, to get hurt. Like, <laughs> like, 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 literally, like, the thing was, bro, we'd go down on our BMXs, like our 10 pound BMXs, right? And just be like, all right, guys, you know the drill. Just, and like, we would try to get ourselves. Don't hit a, just don't aerodynamics. Hit a bump. Yeah. yeah, just don't <laughs> hit a bump. We would hit bumps. Oh, bro. yeah. Bro, we would like, we'd be at least like 10, 15 feet in the air. And yeah, we don't hit a bump on a hill. Hit that oh. fucking. Nutty? Bro, we slam into that fucking. Bro, we, like, one time I think the ambulance had to come for some oh kids. Oh, my God. Because, like, he fucked up his arm. We were like, ah, well, just be better. Like, <laughs> like, dude, dude, when kids got injured, you thought it was their fault. <laughs> <laughs> What was he doing? <laughs> That's on him. That's the thing, though, when your kids, him. like what Ask Jake him. said, it's like, it really is. You're just like doing shit until someone gets hurt. Yeah. Right? Like, and then you it's are, like, oh, it is right. fun until someone gets hurt and then their mom's like, and then you reset. You're still hanging on these fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> but like, mom, what were you doing? And it's like, fuck. Yeah. What were you doing that you got hurt? Trying huh? to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> I told him it was a bad idea. I I told him this was not the greatest idea that you had in the books. (laughs) Like, please don't do this. I told him not to, Mom, and he did. So, yeah. I tried my best. I remember remember one time we were just playing uh, football out front of my neighbor's yard, and he had like rocks set up, like uh, just like in a little garden. But he had like big rocks, like 200. Big big, rocks. Big rocks. Like 100 (laughs) to 200 pound rocks. Like, you know, not that big, but like. Ones like this, we had like 10 of them lined up across. So what, you put a kid's head and, under it? Yeah, so they weren't, so they weren't I, huge, but so they had a great I, personality. So I was, we were playing football, and I <laughs> slipped, and I caught the corner of one of the back of my head, 
and it like I had a like a big gash on the back of my head like this, and it was like that explains open. so much. It was like open up, bro, and I like so like Did you spin it. No, 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 no. Duct tape and rags. So I just fucking bro, like I was in so much shock that I I got up immediately, felt that I was like gushing out blood. Oh yeah. Stood up, like just stood up, walked home, like just no emotion, yeah. no nothing. Just went to my bro. mom and I was like. I have a big gash in the back of my head now. And she was like, holy fuck, <laughs> what the fuck is, like, what happened? And I was like, I fell. Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> like, like, it as, like, a fun. parent, too, when your kid comes home with just, a, a wound. <laughs> a battle <laughs> like, wound. How, what happened? <laughs> Literally, mom, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Bro, there was a... <laughs> Nothing could have prevented this. <laughs> there, was, there was a... It just the way, hey, way it is. The way she goes, <laughs> mom. When you're playing with the guys, this is what happens. The way she goes, <laughs> the way she goes, boys. The way she goes. What were you gonna say, sorry, Matt? There was a uh, that one hockey thing where I gashed at kids' head in the dressing room because they're making they're making fun of me and they're throwing my equipment around the room. So as a joke, like I thought it was sorry, no, I thought good. it was a joke at the time, but like I fucking slammed this kid with my shoulder pads, who shall remain nameless, even though I know his full name. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. Full but legal I, but uh, he's call like, uh, legal name. Let's call him <laughs> X. So I hit X with a fucking like, sh- like shoulder pads, and he's laughing until he gets his head, and he fucking needed stitches. Oh, because he fucking had a huge gash in his head, and I and then uh, and then I didn't get in trouble. Well, I kind of did, but like I didn't really get in trouble because like he told his parents the whole story because they were like making fun of me and throwing his uh, throwing my equipment around the room. So he's like, yeah, we were doing that. And then Matt just hit me over the head. Like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. I still got suspended for, like, I think the rest of the season. Dude, whatever. I. Uh, Spring <laughs> hockey. I remember there was this one kid in, in our French class. And one day these two. <laughs> <laughs> these two <laughs> I don't know why I remember this. I don't know why it's making me laugh so hard. I remember they were talking shit, like, I mean, roasting each other. And by the way, these two guys are fucking nerds. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> it's like the weirdest roast battle ever. We're like, and everyone it, it just antagonizing them. Like, I'm high as shit. I'm like, oh, like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh. And this kid out of nowhere, because he's behind, so I'm not even paying attention. He's behind me. I just see a fucking, like, guys, like a desk. <laughs> Go over my head. <laughs> to this kid. And I'm turning around. I'm like, he just do a fucking desk at him. <laughs> Bro, I remember one time he also, I don't know what it was with these kids. This one kid just got mad at her teacher was like, I don't know. They were just getting, getting at it back and forth. This was like grade fucking seven, bro. And this guy's like, I will now throw a Dell computer at you. <laughs> <laughs> I will now. Monitor it's or the, the mon- tower? It's okay. the monitor. See, I always went to the tower schools. Range. They gave like the new iPads too. So like we never had that issue of people no. throwing shit. But like. <laughs> you were getting iPads? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck I went you. to St. Chris, like St. Christopher, which was like the new school at the yeah, time. Fucking so like, rich fuck. Fuck you. I, was, I mean, no. Dude, one that. day we had a projector. Projector, the fucking top right corner. You could see fuck all out of dude, it. Dude, we just burned. Aaron, remember we had one smart board at fucking St. Anne's? Yeah. Uh, one teacher like, had it because he bought it, I think. Yeah, yeah. but like, we had like nothing at yeah. St. But at St. Rose, we had a good amount. Remember of the shit. yard though? Like now you look at it and you're like, that yard sucks. But when we had it, it was like all there. Awesome, like, yeah, man. it was, it was so good. It was they good. took out all the basketball and like four square courts and put like portables there because it's like one of the only French immersion schools in the city. Yeah. So they have to keep it open, but like it's too small. So like they fucking. But like back to I remember playing soccer against the fences in the yeah. back. Oh, dude. Ball goal. The St. Oh. Al's <laughs> hit a car. Oh, yeah. Beep, beep. Dude, everyone. Car. <laughs> so like, ah. Dude, remember every once in a while you either wouldn't get the ball back till the end of recess when a teacher would let you get it yeah, or bro. or fucking car would stop and you'd be like, yeah. you'd be like excuse me like, we stop traffic yeah that like, guy one soccer ball yeah. please and be like <laughs> i got you bro and be like yes sir get it back and then the teacher would come and take you be like you guys are your spawn be like fuck you they're just trying to play like we're trying to play soccer, yeah don't talk bro. to strangers we're on the fucking ball we're, we're playing for the world cup bro, I, I go to a, like, I go to a French do you game. understand what's happening over here <laughs> dude when it you were a kid, game it is tie game <laughs> when you were a kid and that's your life like yeah. you i mean like you're like listen you can't take this football away from bro, us. Bro, you would no, they did, though. you would they talk did all about the time. you would talk about like football, like the teams and like what happened and all that. You would talk about that during class. Yeah. Like you would be like, Yo, that was bullshit. Like we need to like yeah. all that. Like You should have got a fucking flag yeah. on that fucking play, bitch. Where was the rap? And just, <laughs> and just to think they all have phones now. Yeah. Like 
now kids probably don't even do that. I can't even imagine kid like maybe because they have like play areas now, like play yeah. sets and stuff like that. But I can't imagine like grade seven and eights now playing soccer and Remember football. Remember the like, snowballs? No, I don't. It's probably not it, right? Yeah, yeah. They, st- they still do. So? They still I do. So? No, I, yeah, I, I did so. my co-op at my grade school. So they're still out they there still playing? They still take it just as seriously. Yeah. Uh, do, do you they? remember? Because um, I heard the opposite. Do you remember? No, I <laughs> still do. Do you remember making like the big snowballs? Like I remember yeah. one time at at Saint at Saint Chris, they we we made them, and each group brought their own. We made them into like a huge fort, mm-hmm. and everyone would stand on top, which wasn't smart. And I would be the one going under and grabbing all the snow. So like a fucking huge ball of fucking ice and snow. Yes. Caught, and these are like, don't do that. And you're like, what the fuck do you know, miss? And then you, you don't know anything about architecture. Yeah, you don't know anything. <laughs> you you don't know the design we have in our heads. Each one of us, okay. <laughs> That's Dude, when a teacher like told you not to do something, you were like, go fuck, fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you again? I'm, I'm sorry. You don't understand. I got drafted first over to the Rams in the <laughs> school. All right. I just got it. I got picked first. When you got Five star first, recruit. All right. Were you even in the lineup? Sorry. Were you there? Yeah. Dude, it was funny because in grade school, too, no one gave a fuck. So when you had like pick teams, all right, these are captains. Every time all the guys are picked first. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. Every fucking It wasn't time. me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> every <much>. time. <laughs> all the studs. All the people that you knew who played yeah. sports yeah. got picked. Yeah, like, got yeah, picked yeah, yeah. right so, away. I'm like, all right, let's go. You're on my <laughs> team, my <laughs> team, my team. Like, yeah. a- you would have like the girls that don't want to play. Yeah. Remember that? Do you guys yeah. remember that? Where they were, like, we don't remember they would no, sit we and would. make the yeah. sidelines. Like yeah. they would sit along the thing and like make what the sidelines were because they would sit on the side. Yeah, but like, you know, though, like. We would still like try and include them in that shit too. No, no, no. they would be included because I'm talking about like gym class or something. But it is funny when like girl like because as guys, I mean guys, they were just like we were kickball, fucking like you know what I mean. But it was like the girls that didn't give a fuck about sports were just like I can care less of whose team I'm on as long as I'm with my friend. Yeah, Yeah. you know what I mean. They don't give a fuck. There's shit like that. I was helping for my um in grade twelve for my uh, volunteer hours. I helped with my dad was the vice president of like hockey like women's kind of hockey for like Windsor and stuff and I was helping with tryouts and the sa- I was working the door and the same thing like you get the same shit like literally like the girls they're trying out for a travel team and they're like can I go on with my friend please and you're yeah. like and you're like I'm just going in order like you, you may you know one time you'll maybe be able to go with your friend mate, but it's the same you know what I mean yeah. it's the same shit like pe- there are interesting shit because like that podcast I was new religiously they really connect it where it's like what's it called that last podcast on the left oh. but it's like it's like pe- the nature of people don't doesn't change like yeah. it really doesn't like people like you look at the bl- like they did a series on the black plague and stuff and like mm-hmm. and they compared it to like covid and it's like because they were doing it during the pandemic and it's like you see fucking parallels like a yeah. thousand years in between each other and it's like pe- the nature of people doesn't change no. so like when you're a kid it's like kids are curious by nature that's their nature so they're gonna do shit that maybe they shouldn't do and all it's like it's interesting where it's like oh like i see kids doing shit that i did i see yeah. kids doing shit like you know what i mean you Even, ever seen those things where it's like we all live the same lives because yeah everyone's like water bending in the shower and shit yeah. we all just do the same thing we have the same idea isn't it? yeah it is it is weird when you're like i'm not the only one thinking this yeah. all right bro have go. you ever had like water okay it's gonna sound weird have you ever seen have you ever been in the shower there's water running off your cock and you're like i'm not peeing right like i don't think i'm peeing like, you know what i mean no. No, no, I know when I'm peeing. No, does anyone else know, know that? No, I know when I'm peeing. You ever, you ever see it like when it looks like you're peeing in the shower though, because like the water comes off it? You know what I mean? Um, no, my, my water bed. Too, my dick's too small. Uh, <laughs> Aaron, it goes know, into my body. Uh, I guess. What the fuck your, is going on? Down your there. dick may be small, <laughs> but you're a great podcast guest. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, dude. No, but we I'm do all this. Time. I mean, everyone's always just chilling. You try, especially as a kid, you're just trying to figure shit out. And like, the funny thing is, I, I always think about this. I'm like, man, when I when I was a kid, I was like, man, when I'm older, I can stay up to whatever time I I'm want. In, I'm in bed by nine. And then I'm <laughs> like, oh my, dude, I went to bed at nine thirty, and that was early for me. And I'm yeah. like, yes, yeah, yes. You get that eight hour, nine hour sleep, and you're like, oh. dude, you can't wait to sleep. Dude, I <laughs> slept like fucking for because i was exhausted i because i uh i work like a fucking 12 hour shift i one trial shift or whatever but like i was fucking exhausted but like i went home slept from like 9 to like 2 p.m and i was like <laughs> thank fuck i missed the whole day thank <laughs> god <laughs> when's the last to- time you slept 15 hours okay uh i don't think ever no I, you know what the most i've ever the most i've ever slept is 13 i know that uh, okay. i think mine's around the what same about you day? chase what's that today 
No, I got 16 hours one day, though. Whoa. Because you needed that. You that needed after, that. Is that, that after I did. This, I think I remember There's got to be day. a bender. <laughs> yeah, because well, I, d- I didn't show up to work. Was, was that like, after the ounce you got? Or whatever? No. <laughs> you smoking no. smoke the gate, too, and then fucking. So I hadn't slept the day before, and then I worked a closing shift, yep. and then I went downtown with Jake right after, still <laughs> in my uniform, <laughs> and I had to be back at work for 6 a.m. When did you get that jacket downtown? Oh, that was... From the homeless man. Fuck. Yeah, because that was years that. ago. Yeah. What year was even, that? The, honest to God, that was 2018. No, why would we be downtown? We were, we were 19. Drunk. We were 19. Like drunk right? as shit. We, we were 19 by then. We would have been 19. 19. 2019, it had to be. 2019, yeah. It had to be before the pandemic. Yeah. 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 We, we were old enough. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, we were old enough. 25. No, we were in 29. We left because someone lost their phone. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. And yep. our buddy, I don't want to say his name on here, but our buddy. His girls it was lost, Zach. lost her mind and was oh, like, oh, we yeah. need, yeah, we need, and yeah. they're crying. And it wasn't we, a good guess. We, it was the only he, guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went and talked to uh, the homeless guy. The homeless guy. And then he came he back with a jacket. Gave him two bits. Two, bits two from, bucks, two darts. Two yeah. bits from the old west. <laughs> gave it to him. A couple of I'm not going to lie. I'm getting rocks. tired. Yeah. I'm getting tired. Me too. I remember one Me time. I a, woke up feeling like rejuvenated though. Oh yeah. When you when you sleep mm. for sixteen hours. Oh yeah. And our I did was God. You got to feel like a new man. I got woken up because like someone <laughs> had to get sent to come check if I was breathing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At that point, my parents do that. They're just like, "Are you alive?" And I go, and I'm like, "All right." <laughs> yeah, you just gotta good. grow. And like, uh, dude, I hate when someone. I remember when you guys came over and I was still asleep. Yeah. Yeah. I just walked into your home. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Tyler <laughs> knocked invasion, on my door and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. You would think it was because I just wa- I walked in there. I was just fucking, hey, Hey-o. you told us to come Dude, for this Aaron, time. Aaron came over last week and he just walked in the door. And my parents were like, who's that? And I'm like, that's just Aaron. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, Aaron can just walk in my house now. It's, like, it's cool when you get to be that tight with somebody too, yeah. like and like steps. their parents are just kind of like, don't knock, walk in, yeah. like don't even. There's like a, I have like a handful of friends that can do that too. Yeah, like him, Tyler. Oh, I get Drake. mad when you guys knock on the door. You guys can walk into my house. I know. I, yeah, I do. I, I wasn't get, gonna ask. John might make fun <laughs> of me though. <laughs> walk in, John just calling me every name in the book. <laughs> I I was just walk, I was walking in because uh, you know our studio was there for so long, so I was yeah. just like. I was walking in at that point, just shooting the shit with him. Because ba- at that time, we were doing our our podcast on weekends, so it would just be on football, like football yeah, bro, Sunday. He, yeah. So he'd just be sitting there he watching would, football. He would make that. me watch CFL games with him. <laughs> it would be me chasing him, and he'd be like, sit down, have a beer. And I remember, like, oh, yeah, the first time I CFL. went, You're I was just like, educated. don't bother the man who's watching football, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother him. And I was just like, and then I, it was, yeah. Yeah, was that's just, back then when we were there. Fuck. I was. I missed that that garage. I went in twice, and that's it. You missed out. I, I went in. I know. I, went, I didn't have. Yo, friends. I remember the first time you ever came on the podcast. Yeah. I found that shit so funny. Yeah, no. I'm so I, nervous. I remember he was. You, bro, you were so was nervous, so but cute. you brought, you brought weed. He brought weed for us. He yeah. was like, Thanks yeah, for I brought a jar on. of weed. And I was like, yeah, Austin. bro. And the next yeah. time he brought bread. Yeah, he did. Uh, and then bread it's I ever had. bread, bro. Oh, we were so talking good. about bread earlier. So I want to know, Rain. Can you please search this up? I want to know when garlic bread was invented, oh, bro. Guess, when did God give us its treat? You I'm know gonna, what I mean? I have to stop at Simon's Prime tonight. Oh, oh, I'm gonna, that, I was gonna, st- dude, dude. No, no, no. There's a there's a smoked poutineries right next to the place. Yeah, but like Simon's Prime is just. Better. Yeah, but are you getting a burger? Is that why? No, I'm gonna get a chicken sandwich. Uh, 15th century piece of shit. What? Ancient Rome? Hey, no way. They knew what they were doing. They did, did a lot of things. Dude, right. they Ancient found Rome. that shit right. There's like this is by the gods. No, yeah. but like I'm surprised it took them that one to put garlic. I'm red. Yeah, ancient, maybe it's just that's as early bread. as they could trace it back. Like they yeah. found a menu with it on there. Folks, we're <laughs> back to history, not not uh not you know, just fucking around right <laughs> now. So <laughs> let's let's uh. You know you know what's really good cheese bread though, and like. Talk shit all you want. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Yeah. Italian, che- Italian cheese. Italian cheese. cheese. Like, oh, I, like, I, like, bro. I, I, I might get that know. for dinner. Like, oh. I mean, Can like, we have a moment of silence for that? Moment of silence. Moment of silence. All right. We're good. Yeah, Thank you very like, much. Little Caesars. <laughs> like, I've, had a lot of, I've had a lot of garlic cheese bread in my life. And honestly, that's top. Honestly, top if we can top give her a veteran's a moment of silence, we can give fucking cheese bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna By say the way, we, su- we support all veterans. We support <laughs> all <them>. veterans. <laughs> we support I was going to say something really bad. <laughs> Do it. What has the veterans done for me? Oh, the cheese bread. Uh, ah, 
God, shit. Someone's going to get you. <laughs> Someone's nailing you. I'm one. just kidding. I promise. But you're right, dude. Like, there is something about that fucking... Listen, you know... I He's going to tell us after. I forget who put me on that. Someone put me on that one day, and I was like, instead of getting the crazy bread, which I do, I do like the crazy bread. Yeah, it's good. But there is something fresh. Oh. I mean, fresh. Like, that oh, bitch is bro. out of the Best? oven, wherever they cook the that shit in. The marinara sauce, no. too. And the, the crazy sauce. sauce. No. Crazy <laughs> I'm sorry. Sauce. Give me above, two of those. Above those cheese sticks, slightly for me, I'm sorry, is the uh, garlic knots from uh, Antonino's. I've never even Ooh, had them. Those are good. fire. Those are good. They're, they're crunchy on the outside, about, soft in the middle. What about those maestro bites? Oh, those are Meister Bites. Good, man. Meister Bites are those like, are I wouldn't. Nice. Nice, nice. man. Nice. nice. Show, Show them, the Rain. Show them the camera. Cool. Show the camera. Show the camera. This is what Rain's been doing. <laughs> instead of listening to us, see what you could be doing instead of listening <laughs> to this podcast right now? <laughs> you could be doing yeah. both. Honestly, I'm disappointed in whoever's still listening to this shit. We've been talking about personal stuff nobody else can relate to for over an hour now. <laughs> if you're fucking listening to this shit, Think about your life. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Get some Matt, help. Don't listen, don't Get some help. Don't Matt, you had too many drinks. And also, <laughs> and also, Matt, Matt, future Matt, listening to this. Um, <laughs> don't forget to take your medication. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to him, Matt. Also, Throw uh, him in the toilet. Really I just want to plug this real quick. We might have a gig in July. Tampa really? Look Where it up. At? Maybe. I don't know. Like when? It's probably gonna be like mid to late July. But Where? I'm just gonna plug Where? It. Probably a Fogger Meteor. Nice. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there, yeah. I'll, there. I'll show up. <laughs> Chase is the only one willing to pay 40 bucks. I was. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> no, I was busy, though. I was busy. Nah, it's all, no, no, no. I I hey, well, you know, Aaron, I, I just want to say, say, listen, Aaron, I just want to say something. I'm so glad that you took the time out of your day to be here because I know we're a burden oh, sometimes. Burden on you. you I know we're spend a burden. Kind of time All this that. guy Jake does is just grind my gears. I've does it on never purpose. once given he you does, a hard time. This guy, Aaron. We, I'm looking directly into the camera too. This guy, <laughs> when we went to camping, oh, this guy looked at me and says, I love fucking with you. It's my favorite. <laughs> so I am going to sit here and say, Fuck you, Jake. Hey. But, I, but I still love you. Hey. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying what you said to us yesterday. It was on stream. Did he not say that? I didn't, he didn't say, say directly. I was, I was, I was <laughs> like not word for word. I was I was just playing Minecraft on stream. I was just like, what, I didn't say anything to you, guys. Aaron. You guys that? told me to shut the fuck up. I'll read the text. Like at one point, I'll, I'll read, read the text. text. Aaron, Hold where's up. that hand job you gave me? Will you promise me? Yeah. For filling in for you the other week? When, where, where, yeah, you where, said you were going to yeah. give him a hand job? Yeah. Slash blow job? Yeah. Slash yeah, blow what's job? Up with slash, that? Yeah. What's up with that? I didn't agree to the blow job part. The blow no, job so you were going to give him a handy? You, you said handy, well, but you said it's, blow it's, job it's if you're table. feeling it. Spit? Lube? No. No. no, no you get a dry no. one. You get a dry. shitty fucking dry Jokes on him. I brought my own lube. Oh! Actually, I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just sent Chase a picture of like a meme. Okay. <laughs> what do you, so Aaron goes, because they're making their plans to go downtown today without inviting me again. Oh. <laughs> we asked. We asked. You asked me like an hour. Good, They've been talking about it for days. I'm a good guy. Because I'm a good guy. I'm not I, going. Like, I'm not going though. Uh, <laughs> so he was like, are we just going to hang out in the studio a bit before we go? And then Jake says that, or we just talk right up to when we got to go. And then Aaron goes, three and a half hours of talking, eh? <laughs> if we can do it, fuck it. That's the longest one I've had, three and a half hours. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. If I'm up for the three and a half hours of talking. And then he goes, so bullshit. Aaron, Jake goes, I'm joking, Aaron. And then Aaron responds, <laughs> okay, good, because I was <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't up for that. <laughs> and then Jake goes, why? You don't like talking to me or something? <laughs> and then he goes, You're all right, friends. Jake. And then Jake goes, that's a great profile picture for Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. It's such a burden to talk to me. Me and Chase have been your friends forever. It really I'll is. let him know you hate us. Trying to make don't worry. Him. And then Aaron responds with, a chowder image <laughs> and me right now. <laughs> also, this I'm is, a good friend. This is, uh, I'm not in that group you. chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a group chat. Uh, Jake screenshotted his cha- conversation with you. Aaron. <laughs> I screenshotted it. It said it to me. So I texted Aaron and said, Brother Aaron, why don't you like to speak to us? And Aaron responded with the reaction image of, image of homeless squim- Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> that is his default. <laughs> that is your default. It's funny with hmm. any, like, when we post in a group chat or anything, you guys default to memes right yeah, away. Every single one. Every of single them. time. You because guys- all you, okay, if you guys ask me to hang out and I say yes, that is it. Like, I already have the information I'm given. 
that's it. Like, you, like when you guys oh, invite us over for UFC what? and shit, we it's that. like be yeah. here at this time. And if I'm gonna come, I go yes. And then that's that's all you need to Perfect. know. And then the rest are just memes. <laughs> that's it. Like, you know, I'm coming. I said I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. There's no other conversation that needs to be made. So I just resort to my memes. I have. Saved. I got a phone call from an unknown number. Rain. It was me. Oh, okay. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no. Aaron, listen, man. I just want. I enjoy talking to you, and it yeah. sometimes you feel. It feels like you don't appreciate my company. Do you not appreciate my? As company? Aaron's agent, oh, I will speak God. on this. As Aaron's agent, okay. Aaron oh. fucking hates you. <laughs> I knew it. What? No, dude, Give I had one reason why he should like. I had you. a feeling, and I, I seen you side eye Chase as soon as he walked in today. What, what do you mean? Chase looks fucking attractive as shit. No, no, Look at those no, no. Blue but eyes. Aaron had some They're fucking green. shit. Sorry, I, was I apologize. Talking, I was just having, I he was doing this shit with Chase the whole time yeah, when buddy, we were on the couch. You were like, yeah, we were having a good time. I'll talking. talk to you now, but I won't talk to you on the pod. Is that what you said to him? Oh. Is that what you fucking said to I him? Said Jake, Jake I said Jake actually can't be within 20 feet of Aaron. I don't know. Should we talk about this? Dude, oh, I know this, bud. Yeah, I know. Look, I've been trying to hook you and Aaron up for a while now. Aaron won't. He says he's. He says I have to wear a condom for protection. Fuck. Aaron, stop being uncool. Yeah. Dude. Oh, stop, <laughs> oh yeah, my balance. Be hip and with it. It's Matt. What do you? I don't want to dig yeah. in my ass. It's the That's homies. Like, it's the homies. I'll kiss you're my so, home. Listen, so, I'll kiss my homies good night and tuck them in. <laughs> but I am not. You gotta them remember, Aaron's like one of the only dudes who hasn't tried to kiss me. So he's mm-hmm. kind of just like, I don't believe a word. You're sh- supposed to I'm let your friends a, hit. I'm as straight as a circle, Jake. All right. He's as straight as a question mark. Like, all right? Like, You're supposed to let your friends hit. That's the title of this. <laughs> You're as straight as a 90-degree angle. That's just... Like, that's uh, like, you know, I have boundaries. I have boundaries. What's your homies. boundaries in that? You won't let them fuck you? Yeah. <laughs> what? what about, about crazy? Would you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you let Matt fuck you? Of course. Cap. <laughs> How do you know what I would do? You know do? why? Because he's a real Cap. bro. You know what? Bros, fuck real bros. Yeah, hap. I would, Matt. I'm promised to another. I'm and he sorry. has his own house. He can make me breakfast. I can make him breakfast <laughs> after. Cap. <laughs> I'd make. Listen. What about? Listen. Yeah, what about if there's benefits? <laughs> what about if there's benefits of fucking? Notice Matt? I was on top. Of what it. are the benefits? I give extensive Cal- health care and oh. <laughs> prescription drug coverage. <laughs> how? What do you mean how? You should pay for it. Yeah. I mean, maybe. No. <laughs> no way. You don't have no benefits. Way. You have money. <laughs> I have I have some. I have medical benefits. I have all benefits. Can I you. get married to you so I get the benefits? No, like I said, I've betrothed to another. But like, no, no, no. no. Your right hand isn't a person, Chase. We're talking about like actual people. It's me! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so so wait, my question would be, what does Rain get out of this situation that if Jake gets benefits? I get to benefits? see a real-life bromance in front of my eyes. <laughs> yeah. get, this is, no, this is all wins. This is all wins on her end. She gets to see a great relationship form for me. <laughs> I love intimacy? Intimacy, though? It's like seeing the notebook as a play. Hey, buddy, for Rain. Uh, I don't believe in intimacy till after I got my health coverage. So <laughs> it means after not marriage. without marriage, but until I get I my benefits, yeah, you're not does. getting my ass. Until we <laughs> let's see his pension and then we can go from there. <laughs> then maybe I'll let you stick your dick in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in true love unless I send a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in true love. Unless you know how long it took me to win the prenup argument? I, I honestly, two if seconds. I, if I ever get two married, times. like if I ever get married, I'm the prenup. No, no, no. It's for prenup. You. Prenup is the way to go. no, like prenup. Is the way to go, in my opinion. Or well, post I, nup. Whoever, <laughs> my, my, my parents have a running joke that they're never getting divorced. It's just whichever hitman can kill the other one the fastest <laughs> wins, gets all the money. God, that's, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, that's, that's a like that's that. like a that's what thirty years of that's like my over. Were. They're like thirty one right now. Yeah, right my now. parents. Yeah, no, at thirty years you just talk about like this is how. No, sorry, twenty nine. <laughs> you know 95. what I think about a lot? Yeah. Your Same murder. Ninety five. Yeah, I'm nice. pretty sure it's thirty years either this year or next year, yeah. Yeah. and like. The way like the way I see my parents talk to each other, I'm like, oh, do you guys even like each other? <laughs> like my mom would be like, Dad, like, like no. Steve, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad would be like, whoa, whoa, what did I say? <laughs> what? And he's like, you can't fucking shit. And he's like, what the fuck did I say wrong? <laughs> and then she'll just be like, go to work. Go to work. And you'd be like, oh, wow. I'm tired today. Like, okay, dad. Like, <laughs> like, dude, it, it's it's funny because there's like an old co- like an older couple that does that on like Instagram or some shit, and it's just like. 
He'll look in the camera and he goes, I am sick of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how my grandparents were. My like my German grandpa and, the, and my grandma, they fucking bicker <laughs> about nothing. <laughs> All t- Dude, he would blast the TV and she would be trying to read. That was her number one argument. <laughs> Fuck money when you're 80. It's all about the TV volume, dude. Goddamn Wheel like, of Fortune. Can't listen to curling. It's too goddamn loud in here. I'm trying to listen to Wheel of Fortune. I'm just trying right. to watch. Honey, I'm just trying to watch the A-Team from the 80s. I'm just trying to watch Mr. T slam some heads in, okay? You don't have to read it here. Jeopardy you don't have right. to read it here. Jeopardy We got a whole house. We <laughs> <laughs> got a whole house. Uh, you're right here. You're right here all the time in this house. <laughs> Why do you always have to be in that spot? Go somewhere else. <laughs> this is my spot to read. <laughs> but like we always say, like don't worry, man. First, first marriage is free. Like my, you know what I mean. First, my, first move out is free. My grandparents have been together for, I think, sixty three or sixty four years. Oh, they fucking hate yeah. each other. And bro, listening to these two talk sometimes is the funniest shit. It's like the same yeah. as my parents, bro. But it's like. My my papa will be like, God damn it, Connie, where the fuck is my shit? She'll be like, go fucking find it. She always moving shit around. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I remember the one time he got upset because he didn't have his donut on the plate. <laughs> he was like, where the fuck is my donut? And my, she's like, get it your fucking self. <laughs> my, uh, my mom used to, my mom has a story like that where she was like. She like the first time she ever like really fucking talked back to her parents was when she she moved to Brampton to work as a nurse and she came back and stayed with them until she could find an apartment and her dad always wore a hat out like an old school guy right he was born in like the 30s or whatever mm-hmm. always wore a hat out and he'd be like where's my hat where Teresa where's the where did you put my hat blah blah and she's like yeah yeah I fuck I hid your hat dad that's what I did like when she's like she like when she was a kid it's like obviously like your dad freaks out you're a little scared but then like you're, you're like 23 you're like dad I didn't. Fucking touch your hat! <laughs> like you're just done. Why the fuck would I move your hat, man? <laughs> He's, and they're convinced. They're like, yeah. those fucking you kids did definitely it. touched my Take keys. <laughs> it's not Alzheimer's. It's the, the kids fucking <laughs> definitely move. This up. never happened until you came back. <laughs> yeah, it what? was always hanging up where I left it. You move back, and it's gone. <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> all I'm all I'm saying is everything adds up. <laughs> like everything's adding up. <laughs> you move in, I can't find my hat once. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> I'm just saying it. It's just. Use yep. your goddamn brain. <laughs> <Yeah>. Find it. <laughs> <laughs> Find it. Bring it to me now. <laughs> it's also like with because like now you have dating apps and s- stuff. Like you have so much more access to so many more people. Yeah. So I think that's why it's like you don't see that because it's like I feel like back then for them it's like this is who's in my town. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it really was. It's this like this is the hottest chick I can pull from my high school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This was the hot. This was the hottest cheerleader in Magunka, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Chase Wajo. Oh my god! My, I'm so sorry. My dad. So like the way my parents met is yeah. that my dad was at a bar and my mom was also at the same bar. And he went up to my mom and he was like, "Oh, I think you're cute," but he didn't say it like that because he was tanked. Like my dad was hammered, so he was like slurring all of his words. He's like up to my mom. He's like, "Man, you're really, you're really cute." And my mom's like, "Listen," <laughs> she's like, "If you remember to call me tomorrow, here's my number. Give me a call if you're like, if you're out for it." They've been together. That's since it's funny because like, that's how it had to be back then. Yeah, because now it's, it's like, like I'll just pull up on her Instagram. See what's my going on. <laughs> my dad and my mom. It was uh, my dad was set up on a date with my mom's sister, and he blew her off when he saw my mom. <laughs> and oh! he fucking and he uh and he <laughs> and he and he and he asked and he asked for my mom's number. <laughs> Like from somebody, like because they were out with a bunch of gr- a group of people. It was at a place called Maryland on Monroe's, which is the building's still there. It's called it's a bar called Thunderbirds now. Okay. And uh, yeah, he went and he's like, and he's like, I blew off your aunt like completely. Like I just, <laughs> he's like, I, 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 he's like, I didn't talk to your mom Do they all talk night. About that? What? Do they talk about that? Like it's no. Is it like a joke now? Like it's ha-ha. not. It's, no, it's not like really. <laughs> it's not like mentioned. Like I've never heard it mentioned because like obviously everyone's married to different people. You should now, bring so. it up. But. <laughs> At the next family reunion. Yeah, whenever like, you're trying to hit up your auntie, you were trying to hit up aunt. Like, <laughs> but like, yeah, it was like, yeah, my dad. He's like, yeah, I met your aunt, and I met both two of your aunts at a bonfire, and then they, they like, they kind of got in with his, his or boys, like, whatever. Yeah, his or like, they boys. had like mutual friends. So like, there was a group of like 15 of them that went out to Detroit. My my dad didn't say a word to my mom. 
that entire night, but he asked for a number. They had like an hour long phone conversation. The rest is history. And then I guess uh, not long after they started dating, he went to, uh, they went out like New Year's or something in Detroit. And my mom was so sick, she couldn't go. And my dad was like, people were like, yeah, he was like so sad the whole night. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right. Dad. Dad. Loser. <laughs> you fell Loser. Imagine having you fell in love and had me, nerd. nerd. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> love you, Dad. Yeah, I love my dad. I love my, my dad. Came on, he uh, he's like, oh no, my hips bugging me, and he came still to the gig. I was like, oh, there you go. oh, th- nice guy. Okay, no, he said he wasn't gonna come. <laughs> yeah, you know, unla- unlike know. unlike you and Chase, he actually came. Yeah. So it's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, man. When you were like, oh no, told me to live my life, man. I'm gonna come, and then he didn't. Yeah. Come. <laughs> well, I was like, you, God damn. like you told me not to come. And then you were like, the thing's $40, and I'm like, I'll still show up. It's Why called you? edging. And then you, said, <laughs> then you said, don't worry about it. And I was like, I'll just stay at work then. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Yeah, no, man, I'll come to your next one. It's okay. Yeah, I'm down. No, like the, like I said, it's like my, my drummer, he, was like, he texted in our group chat. He's like, yo, there's a band from Toronto. Make sure like a bunch of people show like try and get a bunch of people. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. It's a Thursday. I'm like, I texted uh, a couple people, but like boy. I can't. Like Thursday this, at nine thirty, you're not getting this a one ton coming of up. Is at nine thirty? No, the one last night was at nine thirty. You had, had a gig last. last yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a gig last night. That's oh, yeah. you should have said so. I didn't have work today. I would have showed oh. up. I, I didn't know you didn't have work. Otherwise, no, it's very fair. I didn't. I, didn't I honestly like would have texted Jay, you, but Jason, like, I wouldn't show up. <laughs> I didn't tell a soul. I had to, I had the weekends off. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't tell anyone. I noticed you were on games yesterday. At one point, I was like, oh, this guy doesn't have to work today. Yeah. yeah. I I Aaron, I reinstalled Sea of Thieves. You should play with me. I will. Because I, I keep getting killed. Yeah. In yeah. solo mode. Yeah, bro. Just, just fucking play with me. I'm good at it. Can we end the podcast? Pardon? What's Can up? we end the podcast? <laughs> well, you want to end it? I'm tired. Are you actually? I'm tired. Okay, we'll yeah. wait for rain to come back okay. and we'll end it. She's the no, only one good. with the power. No, it's all good. I'm just saying it's I'm tired. Power. No. It's, it's about power. We, get, we, we get no, I love, I, like, don't get me wrong. The conversations today, this is like my favorite podcast I've been on, but I'm fucking tired That's shit. fair. No, we'll end it. We'll end it in a second. Chase, but, it's not you. It's me. I know you've heard <laughs> that before. But I hear it all trail. the time. <laughs> He's on his list. I hear it all the time. Chase's girlfriend where it's just like they're in the middle of a two-hour argument. Okay, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rain, we're going to end it now. Yeah, I'm Rain. getting goofy. <laughs> well, getting goofy. bringing my girl into this. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Cut, cut the fact I mentioned he had a girlfriend out of the podcast, please. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> but, uh, all right, yeah, we can wrap it up. We'll what wrap did, it. Hold on, I remember this. What oh. did you unsend me? Oh, okay. I just, just looked at I just looked <laughs> <laughs> End this before he says something else. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! Bye. 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 Just, 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 just received in our newspaper.